Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and we are back tonight to play in the mud a little bit more with SnowRunner. Uh, we're continuing on with one of the Michigan maps tonight. Uh, we're headed off to Smithville Dam, uh, which we got to when we streamed last time. We drove through the tunnel. We have to try to make a delivery over here, but the roads are kind of impassable, so we've got a little bit of work to do. Uh, we're going to try and tackle some more of the uh, some more of the missions and stuff on, uh, on the uh, Smithville Dam map. See what other vehicles we can unlock and kind of unlock some of the uh the watchtowers and stuff as well and see what progress we can make but welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far or if you're watching on the channel afterwards welcome as well uh, special thanks as always to our top tier mistakes were made channel members vamp size size six zerian zellos tim 2020 peter bocabella sebastian gores matthias z crystal nabs one the scrub still snow toolkit 71 and kathleen hart thank you all very much for the ongoing support very much appreciated and I'm um, sorry, honey, I can't tell our daughter to go to sleep because she doesn't listen to me. <laughs> I already tried that earlier. She was uh, wound tighter than a clock. So, um, actually, oh, i got to plug in my controller here. I almost forgot about that. I should probably not try to drive this thing with mouse and keyboard since that goes exceptionally poorly. Uh, and it goes poorly enough as with a controller, so... There we go. Alright, that should probably work better. Perfect. Okay, so um, on this particular map, uh, there is a, a fallen rock slide thing like right here that we want to try and get rid of. Um, so there is a mission to get rid of that. We're going to have to haul in some materials for it, I believe. Uh, the trouble is our truck is not terribly well equipped. Uh, we have a trailer and stuff on here right now, but I don't think there's anything on the back of the Fleet Star. I can't remember. Let's maybe grab that. Oh, yeah, we do. Have, we have the whole... This whole thing is all loaded down. So we're going to need a different truck in order to haul supplies uh, to try to get rid of the, uh, the roadblocks that's there. And then we have to drive like all the way down somewhere over here. There's like a delivery we have to make. Oh yeah, just off the edge of the uh, the, the known area over here. And it's uh, kind of treacherous driving through here. There is an alternate route down here we could go. That's um, too muddy. Can't get through there. Uh, we could try going all the way down around the lake, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I think we'll just try and get rid of this rock fall here if we can. Uh, and hopefully the stuff we need to in order to do that won't be too far away. So we'll see what happens. Try doing the rock falls with the scout trailer. Oh yeah, we should see. Oh, I forgot. We, the, uh, the scout we can hook up the trailer to. Um, let me see. What do we got here? Uh, missions in here. Not rock on. That's not what I want. Where's the uh, Where's the mission for the for the task for fallen rocks? Maybe it's one of these missions. Let's keep forwarding. Nope. 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 I would thought for sure it would be like right in here, but there's only like a couple. And this is this rock on. Yeah, that is right there. All right. Uh, so we've got. Another rock slide that's putting a highway out of action. Can you get a shipment out there to help get it cleared up? So we need service parts times two, uh, which actually isn't all that much. We should be able to get those just over here at the service hub, so that'll be handy. Uh, let's maybe take the uh, take the scout. We're going to have to get our hands on a trailer. So we can slap one on here. Not, not sure if I'm sold on the scout. I don't know, I don't know how well this thing handles, but... Not doing the wrong, yeah. All right, so here's the trailer store. Uh, we should have the scope trailer in here. Uh, scope flatbed will do 3,400 bucks. Ouch. Small scope flatbed. Yeah, we need the uh, need the scope flatbed. This is gonna be interesting. I, I, well, actually, if as long as we only have to go like to the service center over here to get it to get the load, I think it's just like over here at the service hub. Uh, let's see where do we get the spare parts. Yeah. Oh man, this should be easy. Should be. Keyword should be. Hey, Sully, how you doing? <sighs> Guess he's back. Back again. Gabriel's back. Tell your friends. This is a decent sized trailer for a little truck like this. Hopefully it's not too heavy once we get it loaded up. But fortunately, we're only going like a short distance down the road. So it should be, should be a relatively easy mission to complete. And that will open up the way we can get our other truck through to make our delivery. You're here with beer. Hey, Greg, how you doing? Happy, uh, happy to meet all you guys, and I'll be able to say that I have been able to get a new phone and a new friend. Well, welcome, Gabriel. Wait, is your phone your friend? That's, that's confusing. Should be easy. I see crashing, rolling, flames, and screaming. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's the easy missions that are the, really the most dangerous. You gotta watch over those. Uh, I don't think this is what I need. Cargo manager, I guess we'll see. Oh, yeah, all right, spare parts, autoload, autoload. Oh, look at the back of our poor, our poor scout. We're gonna pop a wheelie just by the weight on the trailer. 
Man, it's a really good thing this is only a short distance up the road. <laughs> yeah, victory is assured. Depends how you define victory. If victory is uh, flaming car wreckage and screaming passengers, then yes, yes, victory is assured. David with the super chat. My toddler Perrin says, hi, Vox, beep, beep. Well, hi, Perrin, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the super chat, David. Much appreciated. Oh, wait, beep, beep. There it is. Super delay on this horn. You push the button and then wait like two seconds. <laughs> hey, Bobber Lives, how you doing? Uh oh, that's a little laggy there. Super weird. Oh, come on. Don't get stuck on this little road. That'd be really bad. All right, hold on one sec. I gotta check the sound levels here. Something seems really quiet. No, no, it's not bad. All right. How long was it before you got stuck in the mud? I made it to almost five minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we haven't gotten stuck yet. Just wait. There's plenty of opportunity for us to, like, smack into something. Just as we approach the landslide, another landslide happens and takes us out. Show task. Ching. Oh. Man, I didn't have it in my luck. All right, so I got to back out. And then drive back in. This is kind of an annoying little thing. It's one thing I kind of hope they, they change at some point. Because if you already have the load, you shouldn't have to do this like this. Great. Thank you. Don't expect that to be the last of the rock slides. The flood has shifted everything out of kilter. All right. Let's, um, let's get this truck out of the way. Just park it over here, I guess. So what I should do is sell the trailer, just so I don't forget. Pretty sure we got the exact same money for the trailer as uh, we paid to buy it. So if we could just get the money back, that would be alright. Emily, what are you doing down here? It's your bedtime. Trailer store. All right. Uh, yeah, thirty-four hundred bucks. We can get the exact same amount, so that's great. Uh, did I just buy that? No, there we go. Yep, kids are up. This should be an adventure. See, this is why I used to stream really late at night, like ten o'clock at night was when I normally started, because I could be sure that they'd be asleep. Uh, the older they're getting, the less likely it is that they're definitely going to be asleep when I want them. But I can say one thing for sure, it's gonna be a real problem trying to stream with her down here. You need to go to bed, Emily. One thing I can say about the social distance is you don't feel like the person behind me is about to steal your wallet when you're standing in a store. Oh, do you normally feel that way? Because, I mean, that would be kind of a weird way to feel all the time. <laughs> There's that nanny again. You know, you don't see a problem, do you? I wonder if my wife is still in the chat. She's become ominously quiet. She turned off her phone. Oh, that's a problem. Can you go tell mommy to turn her phone back on, please? <laughs> a nanny would help with this situation, Brittany. It would. Beg pardon? Yeah, see? Uh, can you manage Emily by any chance? It's a little hard for me to stream when she's right next to my desk being all loud and stuff. <laughs> she really like she ran off to go tell you to turn your phone back on. <laughs> okay, we're gonna need some all-wheel drive in this muck over here. There's gonna be a little stretch of muddiness we gotta get through. Hopefully, uh, it won't present a problem. It doesn't look it doesn't look awesome though. Uh, maybe we'll slap her in low gear and put the differential on while we're at it. No, that, yeah, that that doesn't look promising at all. <laughs> Melatonin. <laughs> Emily, you need to go upstairs, please. Yeah. Hey, Desert Gain, how you doing? What's melatonin? It's a little, uh, little happy pill that makes kids feel sleepy. <laughs> it's, uh, it's also the stuff that your body produces when it's time for sleep. It's like a sleep regulator that your body naturally produces. Sounds like the problem my, guy, my girlfriend has with her seven-year-old. Yeah. Now well, she's getting to that age where she's being a little more defiant. Which, let me tell you, is super fun. 
super duper fun. <laughs> Nothing helps you play games better than your four-year-old cheering on when playing games. Hey, it's the the game playing is not the problem. It's the uh, it's the trying to stream while I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, I gotta drive through that. <laughs> I don't think this truck's gonna make it. Um, it's like right there though. If we get stuck in there, I wonder like if I restore, does it restore the trailer with me and all of my load with me, or do I have to like reacquire all that stuff? If I did, that would really suck. I don't know if I could... There's another smaller trail there. I actually probably should have tried going down. I wonder if I can back up to it. I am terrible at backing up with this... Uh... No, <laughs> Awful at backing up with these this particular kind of trailer, though. So I don't know how this is going to go. Okay. It would be great if that tooltip went away. Thank you. No, no, no sudden movements. No sudden movements. Oh god, it's it's not going. This isn't working. Might have to straighten it up a bit. Come on, trailer. Just a little farther. Whoop, too far. No, no, no. Okay. Not quite. Gotta straighten up. It's not safe. Drive on the edge? Well, I'm thinking there's a, there's a smaller path back here. I'm, I'm just curious to see how muddy the, 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 this path is back here, because I might be able to make it down this side path easier, depending on what it's like. Uh, it's not showing any water over the road back here, but I don't know. There's an awful lot, lot, awful lot of water next to me now. Now, there's a little water over that path. Ooh, I wonder if I can cut through the field here. There's also like a path like right there that kind of goes like down the side of the field. I have to slog through all that. <laughs> oh yeah, reversing a trailer and it didn't even go too badly actually. Small miracles. Small miracles. I mean, it's not too bad if I if I just make small movements, but. All right, so there's this path like right here on my right. So I'm gonna try and take this maybe. Trouble is, I mean, there's, it seems like there's a decent amount of water here too. Do not cut the field by that little path on the side of it works great. Yeah, I just gotta, I gotta get, uh, no, I, see, I probably should have uh, backed up a little bit farther with the trailer before trying to make this corner. Sorry, tree. Okay, slapper in low gear, get our differential on, and hopefully the muck here isn't too, too sticky. Hey Derek, how you doing? Look at those little arms flailing around the wheel. Yeah, I love the, I love the animation they have on the driver in this game. It was a tight fit. Just enough room to squeeze through there. Assuming the trailer makes it now. <laughs> Got time as the stream started. <laughs> How's that for timing? That trail isn't leading you where you want to go. Um, I think you're right. Looks like it's going up a hill. That's not good. I was hoping it would cut back, um, but yeah, it's definitely not. Oh boy, we could cut through the field here. Let's see if we do. Let's see if we can do that. How good is this truck for off-roading? Anybody know? That's a ditch. <laughs> Don't get stuck in the ditch. Roads. We don't need roads. We make our own roads. As long as there's no big trees in here and no big mud pit, this might actually work all right. Great cheesecake. Oh, no, I'm just jealous. I have a cup of tea, but I don't have any cheesecake. No, I want cheesecake. Uh, where's the, where's the gap defense here? There it is. Just on the end. 
<laughs> Victory. Yeah, do I have to go around the end of this field? I guess, I, yeah, I'll go around the, uh, go around the little crops here. So maybe we can make it. All this farm's a mud pit? Oh, that's excellent. Oh, there's no path back here. I was kind of expecting, like, a road going around the crop, but, uh, it doesn't look like there is one. So I guess we'll just make our own road again. After I wreck the farmer's fence. <laughs> I'm quite certain this isn't the direction they intended me to go. What if scrap mechanic gets snow with mud runner terrain physics? That'd be interesting. Okay, we made it. Okay, the essentials. Unload. Unload. Ooh, right. I still gotta get fuel. Um, so the fuel for this is actually, like, right over here. So we're gonna have to, go, like, take the road back up and around. I guess we'll see how bad this mud is through here now. <laughs> Since it doesn't really matter if I recover now at this point. Because I've already unloaded. We'll see if, uh, see if we actually do get stuck going through there. to drive beside the worst of the mud. <laughs> right through the fence? You know, it didn't even occur to me you could drive right through the fences. I was trying to keep the property intact, you know, and didn't want to get a reputation as a, as a bad delivery driver by uh, smashing the farmer's property. side is likely to be less mucky. <laughs> faith they'll get stuck. Yes, I have faith too. I'm quite certain the truck will get good and buried. Should be good. That differential on there again. deep stuff there. That's a quite a pond they have on their little entryway. I wonder if they know their stuff is flooded. <laughs> uh, I think we're stuck. <laughs> I've, I think I bottomed the truck out in the mud, actually. We're beached on a sandbar. Uh, Alright, hold on. Let's see where I can connect. There we go. That might work. That might work a little bit better. That's good. There we go. Come on, truck. You can do it. Oh god, just don't tip over. That would be bad. This would be a pain enough with the, just the truck alone, but with the trailer on, it's kind of like an added, uh, added headache. Recently purchased the Caterpillar CT680. It's a beast of a truck. Use it for almost everything. Oh yeah. Ah, uh, no. Stuck again. Oh god, don't flip me. That would be bad. Come on. We've got the tires here. Can I use the sign as a winch point? I wonder. Oh, I can. Excellent. Pull me out. This whole winching thing is like the least accurate part of the game and also the most helpful. <laughs> uh, at least it would be if I wasn't stuck again. Okay, I might need to uh, uh, detach the trailer. See if we can... Nope. Oh, well, that's, maybe I left this too long. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm good and stuck now. I was thinking if I could detach the trailer... Kind of slog my way out of the mud enough that uh, I can then winch it back up to me. Like, from here, maybe.
I had the diff lock and low gear on, and it wasn't moving at all. So I took it off so the wheels could spin a little bit more. Do a little bit of paddling. Come on, truck. There we go. We got her. Victory. Ooh, just enough to. Love the show. Just can't watch live stream. The internet is horrible where you're at. No, I'm sorry to hear that, Spencer. I don't know if I could live with terrible internet anymore. I'm too dependent on it. Just for like everything these days. Trail is too far away. What? No, it's not. It's like right there. That's not what I wanted to do. No. Trail is too far away. That's not even possible. Okay, maybe if I get it under like I should probably get it up on the flat ground, maybe. Haul it up here on the road, and that should uh, make it a little easier to connect. It's part of the stream where you tell me how to do everything? <laughs> Isn't that like the full part of every stream? There we go. We're free! No, wait a bit. <laughs> did you get increased distance on that winch? Uh, I don't remember what upgrades we purchased. I don't think I did on this particular one. Is this the road I want? Yeah, this is it. We're out of here. I'm gonna go sell this trailer so we don't have to like haul it around. We can grab it, buy it back again if we need it. And then we'll just go over, we'll load the fuel right in the truck, and then we don't have to mess around with having a trailer behind us for the remainder of this delivery. We'll say that if you're too close as well. Oh, does it? Uh, all right. What do they classify as too close? I mean, I, that last time, I, Kind of over top of the trailer hitch as it was. Are you going to Russia? Uh, probably not tonight, but I will be going to the Russian map at some point. We only just got this map open the last time we played. We came through the tunnel to, to get over here. So I thought it'd be fun to play around here a little bit. Uh, we have a whole bunch of points that we haven't unlocked on this particular map. Uh, we got some missions and stuff we can do. Hopefully, we can find some more vehicles and upgrades here too. That would be good. And. I just went past the garage where I wanted to sell the trailer. Because I'm smart. Oh, come on, trailer. Don't do this to me. Not like this. Uh, I had it lined up and then it didn't. Right before you move to Alaska, you're going to sell all the trailers on this map. I mean, it's a good idea. There's no point in... Uh, just leaving them sitting around for no reason. Get our cash back for them anyway. Uh, so. Apparently I have two sideboard trailers in there. That's weird. Alright, let's go find some fuel. Oh man, I actually need to fuel up the truck too. Um, yeah, it's not that far. We could probably get, probably get there. Get some, actually, is it an actual fuel station? It is. Good. Okay. They don't lose value, which is a really nice feature. Yeah, so you can like sell them and buy them just at need, once you discover them anyway. And that way you don't have to uh, like leave them sitting around the map and pick them up from a, from a you know, weird random locations kind of thing. I did find the scout. Yeah, we got that on the last map. We've only used it a tiny bit so far. We drove it uh, just a little bit when I was playing the other day. Uh, where's the road going? Oh, I missed the turn. Oh, man. This is why you put waypoints down. For people like me, who apparently are not observant enough to even see the road. All right. That'll do. Back it up. I'm going to run out of gas before I get there. I don't want to have to recover. Shoot, Forza looks good. <laughs> is this Forza? These are the, uh, the latest and greatest in sports cars right here. It gets a bit top heavy if you put the top, if you put the tool rack and raise the suspension. Yeah, I have the raised suspension on it, I think. I have to check and see what upgrades we have on that scout. Um, the tool rack and stuff I probably won't bother putting on unless we end up on a map where there isn't a garage. Because then you can carry, like, it carries extra fuel and stuff up there.
but the uh, the same thing. It's the same problem with the cons. The cons are very top heavy too. Although the scout can attach to like three different trailers, and the con doesn't attach to any trailers at all, even though it's got like a little hook on it. Kind of annoying. Run out of gas, do it. <laughs> no. No run out of gas. Man, not only is it nighttime, but it's foggy too. If it runs out of gas, get it and pull out. Pull out the lift. <laughs> well, well, we'll be fine, gas wise. We're good. Quick fill up here. Bang. No problems. Okay, we need um, two barrels of fuel. So that'll get that covered. Back out of here now. Can't see. Oh, don't hit the pump. Don't hit the pump. <laughs> That would be bad. Can't see past the tr the uh, past the back on this particular truck. Okay, I should probably put map pointers down again because you know it's me, still the terrible driver over here. The heck, I'm not even clicking over there, but it's that was a weird map point. What the heck? There. Well, we don't have the trailer this time, so we'll just go right through the mud on the front door. We'll go right in this way. Was like, you know what? Cryptic Fox says it too good. It needs some fog. Sometimes I think the games are out to get me. It's all part of the design. It's written right into the code. Mess up Cryptic Fox. I've seen it there. Might call it cryptic because I'm pretty sure it was born whilst we were watching last night's stream. Oh, really? Got a new, uh, like, baby kitten or something? Baby dog? Baby snake? Hopefully not a new baby baby, because if, you, if you're not sure when that was born, then I'm really concerned. <laughs> the chat's out to get him, too, and he doesn't know yet. Usually you guys are out to get Nate when I'm playing with him. I'm trying to come up with all the different ways I can get him peeled off. Parent says, Night Night Fox, as he's being taken to bed. Night Night. Night Night Parent. <laughs> Kids are cute. Especially when they're sleeping. Like, kind of mostly when they're sleeping. Oh, baby duckling. Oh, cool. When I was a, when I was a uh, teenager, we lived in a small farm. We had a duck pond with ducks and chickens and goat and all that kind of stuff. Cow, horse. Man, this road's messy. Even though we cleared away all the rocks, they didn't even get rid of the rubble. They just sort of left it there. We're like, nah, that's good enough. What are you need guys? We don't want to work any harder than that. Can see you missed the notification. No, apparently I did. Scott here. So did you clear the landslide at the beginning of the stream? We did, yep. Got the landslide cleared out. Uh, we made the first delivery with... Uh, what was it we were delivering? Was it, it was a wood and spare parts I think we delivered. Uh, now we're got, we have the fuel on board that we have to get delivered over here too, and that'll finish the, uh, the first mission, the essentials here on this particular map. But first we gotta, we gotta haul through some mud here. This could get a little, a little sticky. Deep water. 
until you, like this this looks like a, a flooded roadway until you get into it and then it looks like a lake come on no don't tip don't tip holy good lord what kind of driveway is this Fox wheel make a big difference? But the, the you talking about the steering wheel or something else? Or are you talking? Are you saying like the tires make a big difference on the truck? Because certainly that's true. Mud wheels are good. Yeah, they are. I don't have a mud wheel. I don't have mud wheels unlocked for this thing yet. These are just like uh, these are like all-terrain tires or something. So they're better than the than the uh, the highway tires, whatever you start with, but uh, they still leave a lot to be desired. We got through. That was all right. It's a sailway. <laughs> it's definitely not a road. Like, it's a driveway you need a boat for, so definitely a sailway is applicable. Brown and sticky. <laughs> the essentials. With these supplies, we'll be able to keep up the food supply to town. One less crisis on our hands. All right. Sweet. I still can't get rid of that stupid oil delivery mission I took. I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it. I swear. Um, I should probably try to unlock some of the towers. There is an upgrade over here I'd like to get to. Let's maybe switch back over to our scout. We'll take this thing out for a spin. Uh, I'm actually going to... To recover this. We'll get it fixed and fueled. And it's a good, good chance to see what upgrades we have in it, too. Uh, nothing engine wise. Gearbox customized for better off road performance, sacrificing gear count, top speed, and fuel efficiency, but offering three low gear stages. Uh, not super worried about that at the moment. Um, I don't. Oh, I don't have the race suspension on this yet. Explore Michigan, USA to find this item. I hope you find that soon. Uh, we have all-terrain tires on this thing, I think, currently. Oh, no, we have the off-road tires on here. So that's all right. Uh, winch, autonomous scout. Low-strength winch with a dedicated battery unit. Not as powerful as more common variants. So this is the one that we were talking about maybe getting. So that if we happen to roll over, we can try to pull ourselves right side up again. So we'll install that. Uh, spare wheel, not worried about. Frame add-ons. Just the roof rack, but we don't need the extra fuel right now. And then snorkels are both locked on this thing, which is going to be a problem if we get any deep mud. We'll see how it goes. Is it awesome transmission? Which the uh, the one with the extra low gears? See you, Sully. Thanks for dropping in. Hey, first things first. Let's go find that upgrade. Get all them upgrades. We have to find the suspension upgrade for this thing if we're gonna drive it much. I think, like uh, pound for pound, the con is better than this thing is. But this doesn't have the option to have a trailer, so maybe get used to driving it a little bit. Could be handy. Storm transmission, either one named after the game. Funny how that works. <laughs> Ooh, screaming down. Oh, there's the shock damage. Are there upgrades that aren't marked, like Easter eggs? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think there could be some in gray areas of the map that are outside of the view of the watchtowers. We found at least one of those that way. I don't know necessarily if they're like a, an unmarked easter egg kind of thing though. You just sort of have to go explore to find them. Uh, let's get the all-wheel drive on. Get used to the con where the all-wheel drive is just on automatically. Come on, turn already. So the, uh, the first upgrade should be just up here somewhere. Whoa, look! Some good air in this thing. This truck's got bounce. I don't even have the boosted suspension on it. No, 
Come on. There we go. Cooperate, little truck. You can do it. You can do it. Ah, the upgrade's like right there. You got this little truck. <laughs> Unless you get stuck, then you don't got it. All right, diff lock. Oh, I gotta put the low gear. No, I don't have diff lock. The diff lock is always on. Okay. We got it. Victory! Get upgrade. AAT 6V 4.4. Thoroughly reworked variant of an outdated engine. Increased power output at the cost of reliability. Physical damage tends to make it lose power. Consume more fuel sooner. That sounds great. <laughs> How's your day going? Not bad. It's a, uh, I don't know. What day was it today? Tuesday? Tuesday, I think? Yeah. <laughs> All the days are blended together these days. This guy knows how to boogie. It's definitely got bouncing power, that's for sure. All right. Where are we going to go from there? From here? That's where I got to sneeze. I think I took an antihistamine today. I can't remember for sure, though. Uh, all right, there is a tower just over here by the farm. We should maybe go and tag that. Assuming we can get through the mud with this thing. Uh, where else have we got towers? Sort of farther afield, I guess. Let's go get the one over here. It'll be step one. I'm trying to reveal some more of the map here. Find out where the upgrades and the... Oh, boy. There we go. We made it. Um, shouldn't have backed up that way. <laughs> oh, this is, the, this is the best way to get down the hill. Uh, okay. We got a little bit of, a little bit of gas. Gunner. Okay. So, this is where that new winch we bought will come in handy. Plunk. Oh, look at the mud on there. That is awesome. Excellent work, little truck. Perfect driving skills. Flawless execution. Would you like to know how to drive? Contact Cryptic Fox Driving School. Special rates may apply. Life insurance required. Money scale with perfect driver. That's right. Well, it's getting clean as we go. That's kind of disappointing. I kind of wanted the mud to stay on there. It's like a trophy. This thing's bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> that was one noticeable drawback of the scout line. They were top heavy. Yeah. They do seem to be that way. What matters you drove away in one piece? Yeah, only because... At this point, I don't think there's a way to like completely obliterate the vehicle. If there is, though, I'll find it. Don't worry. I wouldn't want to disappoint all of you. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have a snorkel on this thing. Come on, baby. Let's try and maybe keep it to the side here because I don't have a snorkel. It is top heavy, though. We're liable to roll into the muck. Get stuck on the branches. Don't pull a con. No, no, no! Oh, we're going over. There it is. <laughs> hey, this thing's coming handy twice already. What a good purchase. See, it's like it never happened. Just like it never happened. <laughs> I think I need something with a lower center of gravity. All right, we got through. This was... uh. That winch was probably our, the best purchase we could make on this map. <laughs> Alright, um, Roto 1 is up here. Go down this little side road here, we should be able to find that tower. Perfect parking job, that's right. That's right. See, we don't have to worry about getting towed if, the, if their jeep's on its side, because they can't roll it, see? 
Holy, come on. Turn already. Man, who made this road? Look at this thing. It's ridiculous. A little wider wheelbase? Yeah, wider wheelbase would help a little bit too. Uh, Alright, gotta go to the right. Tower is up here. That'd be, I think, what, the first one on this map? Possibly the second? Let's go, it's perfect. It's just cryptic driving style. Oh, lies. It's all lies. It's 100% the vehicle's fault. <laughs> Need to set up a suspension glitch so I can't roll it. We made it! Hooray! It'd be funny if the truck was like rolling over as the cutscene went. <laughs> you made the road. Welcome back, Sully. That was quick. Stop hurting the scout's feelings. It doesn't have feelings. It just has power. Oh, another upgrade. Uh, huh. Well, we could try to go over the mountain, but I'm suspecting that will end well. So let's not do that. We'll take the road. Assuming I can get back on the road. New objective discovered. Threatening accident. What? We're threatening someone with an accident? This game's not just about driving in mud. It's also murder mysteries. Your mom lost the phone on the couch. Oh. So that was your victory? She lost the phone on the couch, so you win? Excellent. I suspect then you probably hid the phone. Oh boy. Oh yeah, this road's great. And I thought the roads on the ma last map were rough, but these ones are terrible. Slowly, slowly. Now you want to see the mystery van? <laughs> oh my god, if someone could mod in the mystery van from Scooby-Doo, that would be amazing. And like, jack it up with like, boosted suspension and mud tires. That'd be awesome. I'd be all over that mod. <laughs> oh man, bouncy. Please don't roll down in the lake. Please don't roll down in the lake. Somewhere here there's a road I need to turn on. I don't know where it is. Oh, no, 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 no. We're just uh, admiring the view. Oh, God, don't. Don't roll over. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, I didn't grab it time. <laughs> no, no, no. No. Oh, boy. And on your wheels? And on your wheels? Not in the water. You're in the water. Okay. That's um, That worked out perfectly. It took too long fooling around with the view while I was, uh, I had the perfect opportunity to, <laughs> to grapple my way out. I didn't take it. Oh, nope, nope, there it goes again. We're still attached though. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> uh, this one's bad. I don't think we can flip this one. Oh my God, I can drive? That's impressive. That's right, roll it up on the roof. Jackpot. Okay. I need this um, to winch on to something. Oh my god, is there no way I can winch this thing? No, don't do this to me. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, there we go. Ha 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 ha! Victory! Beeps the horn again. Yep, you gotta beep the horn. It's important. Let's the truck know you're still alive. Nailed it. 
All right, so right before I rolled it there, I was uh, gonna look at the map so I could see where that turn was. Oh, come on, I just wanna turn. Just let me turn. Jeez, okay. Man, we're not even close. <laughs> not even we're near the road I wanted to turn on. The side of your truck? What's the matter with the side of my truck? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, a, it's just a little crumpled. It's just a little scratched. It's still good. It's still good. It's just a little muddy. We're working it in. We want to make sure that this vehicle's well broken in before we uh, put our faith in it too much. Just think of the resale value. Former Jeep of Indiana Jones. That's what we'll, that's what we'll sell it as. We'll make huge bucks. Let's tell him we got all the scrapes on the truck in the Temple of Doom. Lowest logging through here. Doop doop. <laughs> Needs more beep. Meep. Mint condition Jeep. That's right. It's priceless. Priceless. This is the way they're supposed to look. Uh, when you get them on the factory show floor, they're not yet uh, primed and conditioned. Look at the <laughs> look at the roof. It's all crunched. <laughs> uh, look at see. Beautiful scenery, that's what it is. It's not about how squished your Jeep is. It's about how beautiful the scenery is around you. Hopefully this is a good upgrade down here. And maybe one that like insta repairs my Jeep would be good too. <laughs> the only shame is that like your battle scars kind of go away. So like... As soon as you return to the garage, it goes back to pristine condition. It erases all of this, uh, I don't know what you want to call it, experience maybe we could call it. It, ex it erases all the experience on your Jeep. Your scout, whatever, dangerous water levels, that's not good. Oh, there's no snorkel on this thing. <laughs> Crystal with the super chat, thanks for the beeps. <laughs> thanks for the super chat, Crystal, much appreciated. Uh, I can't go through that water though. And I have a feeling when we go up here, we're going to roll it. So, as long as we roll down the hill in a way that we can haul ourselves out of the water sideways. Oh, nailed it. No, we're stuck. Come on, truck. Don't do this. Not like this. Okay, we got our own riverboat casino. Nope, nope, we're, we're loose. We're free. Ooh, look at the trench we're digging. <laughs> Keep those tires going. There we go. Made it. Flawless execution. What you described to Kirk is customization. <laughs> Boom, another engine. Man, I'm getting all these engines. I want, like, suspension and stuff. I don't want to really want... All right, I mean, I'll, I'll take the upgrade, but it's not the one I'm after. Um, I gotta get back up the hill and go over to this tower now. That should be interesting. Also gotta keep an eye out for like, on the map sometimes there'll be trucks you can salvage that aren't labeled, so you don't see them when you're zoomed out. You only see them when you get in closer. I mean, the trailer's obviously labeled, but you know, there could be other things hidden hereabouts. Now that I've been sitting still for a minute, I'm really stuck. All right, got it right in there. Get out of here. Back it up. This thing goes well in reverse. The place where you gave that person something you didn't give to me is closing. Peep suspect condos over COVID. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my god. What a weird way to say that, honey. <laughs> oh, no, I'm stuck in the mud again. Ooh, dangerous water level. We did it. We did it. Oh, that's not doing it. Back it up. 
don't get in my way tree that little tiny tree is gonna ruin my day <laughs> come on tree not like this um I wonder if I'm close enough to winch up to this tree up here bam nice jackpot uh, get me up the hill Incognito, yeah, I figured it out. <laughs> it just took me a second, honey. It's okay. <laughs> it, was, it was very subtle, though. <laughs> whoop, whoop, yep. Oh God, don't, don't, just don't dip it, honey. I think I found the car we should get. Uh, it's in slightly used condition. <laughs> Almost foiled by that tiny little tree. After all that. Come on, Scout. You can do it. Climb up that vertical wall. We got the Spider-Man truck. That's fine. It'll get there. Ford Explorer. Yeah, uh, this one is like an International Harvester truck, I think, but... I don't think we really need an SUV. A, they're expensive, and B, they suck a ton of gas. C, they have higher insurance rates. D, they're less safe because they roll over. Instead, we should get the uh, the Tesla Model Y. I think that's what we need. <laughs> Just because it's cool and I want one. Okay. Uh, I wonder... We'll have to... I still, I'll, gotta go to the right here, and then... I don't know where we have to go after that, so we'll have to, like... Check the map again when we get to the fork in the road. Come on, truck. Man, this thing's tippy. Super tippy. You want one, so you'll get one. Is that how that works? <laughs> Any electric cars, but no Tesla. Tesla's evil. No way. Tesla's awesome. Why would I buy an inferior product just because I think the company's evil? Which I don't, incidentally. Uh, I'm gonna go to the left. And see what goes on down here. That's no chairs and snow chains in the Tesla. I mean, I, I'm kind of curious how they would last in Canada. I mean, it doesn't get super cold here. Oh. Oh. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to reach that tower. Um. I don't know where the road goes back behind me. All right, let's go the other, let's go up the other way on the road. You'll name it X. <laughs> X Ash A12. Pizza delivery in two hours. Sweet. What are you delivering? I'll make sure we have the front light on. It's good old gumption. Get what you want. Shh. Crystal, quiet. That's how we ended up with a cat and a dog. <laughs> Probably two kids, actually. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. Boop. Get Snow Runner at midnight tonight. Can't wait to start playing. Awesome, LBL. Hope you have fun with it. It's been a really good game. I'm really enjoying it, actually. Not that I'm going to pretend to be a professional at the game or anything, but uh, it's been fun to slog around in the mud a bit. Okay, let's see if we can, oh, man, got a little air. Let's see if we can get through over here. I don't know how deep this is gonna be. This might be suicidal. Let's find out. Dangerous water level. Uh yep, yeah, not moving. Okay. So that was that was not productive. <laughs> Fortunately I can still reach. Me out of here. Too deep. What do you do in this game? You basically have a bunch of different missions that you have to complete, but it's a combination of exploring, driving through mud and snow and crummy water conditions, and uh, completing different types of missions to do deliveries. I, I literally have wood inside my car. There's like a log in the car in the passenger seat. <laughs> uh, excellent. 
Uh, I might be able to go around this lake, maybe. Good win, Hummer EV or Cybertruck? Cybertruck. As silly as I think that thing looks. Yeah, please don't just spam a bunch of random stuff in the chat there. I, you know what? Uh, silly people. Thanks, Chas. Through the trees. I mean, on the plus side, I haven't really needed roads too much with this thing. Okay. This is going to be like the shortest gap here, maybe? Oh, no. If I go around, there's a little, little spit of land farther over here I might be able to use. And I shouldn't read chat while I'm driving. <laughs> Especially in a forest. Music stop scares me. What happened? Oh, this game, unfortunately, as soon as you click off of the game, um, the sound stops. It's kind of annoying. Uh, a lot of games, they can operate in... Uh, in borderless windowed mode, and they'll continue to play music and stuff when you uh, when you don't have the game window active. This is not one of those games. I have a feeling I'm gonna get stuck as soon as I try to go in there. I hope there's a tree close enough I can pull myself out. Ooh, that actually, it wasn't bad at all. Yeah, it was practically a road through there. Got it. Boom. Watch out for that tree. Just call me George of the Jungle. Okay. What does this reveal for us? Uh, we got another trailer over there. Another trailer. Many trailers. Drill site. Uh, oh, this is the edge of the map. So I can't really go too much over there to get stuff. I'm going to have to go back if I'm going to unlock some more things. Oh, we can go over the dam. Go lending for some more, uh, some more towers we can unlock. Uh, at first glance, I don't see any vehicles out here we can snag. I mean, who knows what will be in the gray area out here? There might actually be things out there. But I don't see any at the moment. I think maybe I'll hit this road, and I'll take the road all the way up. Maybe cut through this field. And we'll take the path up here so we can see if there's anything up that way. Oh, what's this? Is that a truck or is that a trailer? That's a trailer there, it looks like. Maybe we'll go get that first. First things first, we gotta get out of this uh, muddy water pit. Bog solid foundation. We got a new map. Yeah, we're on the uh, we're on the Smithville Dam map, so it's still a Michigan map, but it's uh, it's a different one than we, than we were on. So there's there's four maps for the Michigan area. Four for Alaska, and I believe three for Russia, and I shouldn't be going in here. This is muddy. Oh, boy. Um, that's really deep. I don't think we're going to be able to get out of this. Ah, this winch is awesome. Okay. That is not the way to go. Uh, let's try going back the other way. Two seconds and you're stuck. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. That was uh, that was definitely not the place to go. Go back here. Cut through the trees. The ground seems to be a little more firm under the trees, so this is, this is good. Look at that. Back out to the road. Perfect. Just like we planned. Flawless execution. There is an entire tree trunk inside my car. I want to... Can I zoom in here? Look. Look, I've got a tree trunk in there with me. <laughs> Sadly, as soon as we take the, the truck back to the shop, if we restore it, it's going to make the tree trunk disappear, but... The stream's over. I'll put a couple of links about why Tesla's unethical and you shouldn't buy their products. Uh, I just don't really care, to be honest. I like Teslas. They're cool. They may not be the best car on the planet, but I just think they're cool. Fox mine the fuel. Oh, yeah. We're going to run out for sure. Yeah, 
There's one in space. <laughs> yeah, that one was that one was mine. Uh, I parked it in the wrong spot. That was like the epic version of towing. I'm taking that home to make a lamp out of it. <laughs> Gonna plug it into the wall socket. Just turn on the headlights. It'll be fine. Only Tesla he wants the roadster. Oh, this one's a mission. Uh, found it. I found the trailer. It's right here. <laughs> and I broke my engine again. Huh. Okay. So that one, not a collectible. At least not until we get the mission. Um. Huh. Well, I'm already here. I guess I could just go up that road. We're going to need fuel. I don't know where there's... A, I don't think the only gas station is, like, way over on the other side of the map. So we're probably going to... We're going to wind up having to recover because I'm going to run out of gas. But that's okay. So we'll uh, we'll see what we can find up here first before we have to recover. And we'll take it from there, I guess. <laughs> Best car in space. <laughs> you can turn off repeated tutorial tips in the settings. Oh, I really should do that. Totally should do that. See you, relax, chat. Eat too much cheesecake. That's let's take back those lies. There's no such thing as too much cheesecake. Frankly, if you even approached eating too much cheesecake, you'd wind up getting violently ill and you'd throw up, and then you'd have what? room for more cheesecake. So therefore, there's no such thing as too much cheesecake. <laughs> One piece is too much. Oh, nice. Get off my lawn. Hey, Raul. Boom. Nailed it. Quick win for the win. Get out of the mud, man. There we go. Okay, let's go into settings. Uh, game. Repeated hints. Get those off of there. There we go. Much better. Neo Nexus with the super chat. Cryptic with the flawless logic. Works for bacon, too. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. See? You're right. I mean, there's probably a point where at some point you'll end up having a heart attack or something, and then maybe you could make an argument that you might have had too much, or maybe you just hadn't had enough yet to keep the heart all stopped up properly. <laughs> there's a trailer up here. Now, the question is, is this a mission trailer or is this a collectible trailer? It's got stuff on it. It's got supplies here. Boom! Been promoted! Great, rank 7. Alright, so that was a discoverable trailer. Lapid trailer, 30 stars. Oh, that was already on the map, though. That one was already marked. That one wasn't a surprise. I mean, it wasn't a surprise in the sense that it was marked there. Sorry, I get lost sometimes and then stuck in people's yard, wander their lawn for food that's not cheesecake. It happens. <laughs> Rank 7, I think that unlocks wheels. Maybe, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm going to need some low gear here. I don't think I have a good winching point from here. Ooh. This is a slow, muddy uphill swim right here. Uh... As in, so slow we're not moving. Haha. -ha. Got a winch point, though. Nice thing about the scouts is the little trees actually help. They don't just rip out. I'm pretty sure we had a wheel upgrade at level 6. I'd be alright with another one at level 7. Definitely wouldn't complain. I know I, I know I need gas. We're gonna run out and I'll end up recovering back to the shop. 
It'll actually be a faster way to get back that way on the map anyway. I just want to try and get up here as far as I can and see if there's anything discoverable. Before we run out. If we can make it that far. Hmm. That's a lot of mud. Fuel's overrated, that's right. We don't need no fuel. Get that business. Uh, nope, didn't want to connect to that. All right, I made a mistake. Uh, Lynch over this way. I said to get out from behind the tree I pulled myself up behind. Or maybe not. Oh my god. Get me out of here. Come on, tree. Do my bidding. Holy, this is brutal. Why didn't I go around it? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> there we go. See, we're fine. No mud there. It's all good. The adventure continues. This looks muddy here again. No, oh, there's like a path up there. Wait, wait, wait. That's the path I want. I gotta go left. No, don't connect there. Nope. Sure, that'll work. Oh god, don't pull me over. Should be able to find a whiskey still somewhere for fuel. <laughs> mm, whiskey. Come on, truck. Don't give up on me now. We're almost there. I'm, I'm gonna run out of gas before I... I'm not gonna drawing four liters a minute in low gear and not even moving. Out of fuel. Well, that answers that. So, I didn't get to the gray part of the road I wanted to see. <laughs> Time to recover. Back to the garage. Oh, look at that. All of our experience has been erased on it. Any new tires here? Oh, mud tires! There we go. It did unlock tires. Hooray. 35-inch mud tires. Slap those puppies on. Purchase. Yeah. Suspension? Nope, still locked. Hold on. What do I need for the suspension? That's an Explorer one. All right. Snorkel? Ugh, that's still locked, too. We drank 14 to unlock the snorkel. Are you kidding me? That's ridiculous. You have the snorkel on other vehicles, like, right away. That's nutty. Nutty. All right. Got the big, hefty mud tires on now. Hopefully this uh, gives us even more power to roll over effectively. <laughs> Let's face it. We're not making through as much mud as we are just rolling this thing over. I, I'm kind of, uh... I'm a little upset. It looks brand new again. It looks like we haven't even used this thing yet. Kind of liking all the scarring we put on it. Um, okay, let's um, find the next tower here. Well, I guess I'm just going to have to go down the road and we'll find out what's down here. Because I can't see that far. Once we get over here, we'll get a sense of where the road goes. We won't look that way for long. Fair enough. Fair enough. 197 people watching, only 35 likes. That's scandalous. Just scandalous. Maybe people are they're just not familiar with where the thumbs up button's located on the video, so they, uh, they haven't been able to click it. That, that's probably what it is. <laughs> it's not the best handling thing. Mud tires on the road are just terrible. <laughs> it's like super slippery. Yeah, we're barreling downhill. Oh, boom, bounciness. 
You're from Florida, you'll let me a snorkel? Nice. <laughs> I think my wife's been secretly planning a trip to Florida. She got tired of the grubby weather up here. Hey, Martin Aragrub. Welcome back. Room. You ever played American Truck Sim? Uh, no, I don't think that I have. Hello, Gringo. Uh, well, I guess that's technically true. I'm not, uh... Not Mexican, so I guess I'm I'm gonna gringo. <laughs> Feels like a horror game at night. A little bit. It's like dark and foggy. You got just the headlights ahead of you. Drop off into a foggy valley. Trees in the road. Now we need to do is roll the vehicle and find out that the closest neighbor's house doesn't have a phone. Seven days to die, four hour stream is great. Thanks. Yeah, that went a lot longer than I planned for it to be. <laughs> it was fun, but definitely, definitely a long stream last night. Oh, you got the mud tires on. Come on, buddy. Show me what you, oh, I don't know, all wheel drive on. That don't make a difference. Forgot, I went back to the shop, it resets it. Made in Mexicani. Is it Mexican or Mexicano? Is that supposed to be an exclamation point at the end? Is <laughs> that just a typo? All right, there's a road alongside the coast. I think there's a truck stuck in the water in the lake. Oh, yeah. Well, there was a mission back there to uh, to recover a, a drowned vehicle, so that would make sense. Yeah, we got the tires for this now. We got the mud tires on there. Now it's just a matter of time. We just got to swim through the mud slowly. No, I didn't, I didn't get the vehicle that was down there, but I did see the mission for it. Sorry, AGM, I don't speak Spanish. I understand English is English, but <laughs> my, uh, my Spanish is rusty. The best I can manage is uh, words that are similar to French. This is the best pig simulator ever. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just plowing through this stuff now. Oh, there's roadblock here. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? I just drove all the way through the mud to get up here. Why wouldn't there be a roadblock? Okay, so... I'm gonna have to take the low road as it is, I guess. Man, this is gonna go kinds of switchbacks and stuff over here. That's a treacherous roadway right there. Okay, for science, we need to find out what happens if we drive over here. Uh, aside from hitting the tree. Hold on, we gotta get around the tree. This is for science. Pure scientific discovery. What happens if we drive over here? Come on, through the trees. You can do this. You've got this, truck. For science. Oh, oh, nope. Oh, I was hoping it'd stay on its wheels a little longer. <laughs> can I blow this thing up? That'd be great. Oh, man, back on the wheels again. Come on, truck. You've got this. There's an upgrade down here. Go get it. Go get it. Oh, smash the engine. Boom, upgrade. <laughs> Engageable locking differential. Uh, I already have I already have differential on this. It's on permanently. So that's no good. We made it down here, though. Where's the tower? Oh, it's on that island over there. Uh, okay, so I need to go along the edge here and try to cross like right there where all that water is. I think I'm gonna, we're going to get good and stuck here. I'm going to wind up drowning the truck because we don't have a snorkel on this thing. BC roads rock. <laughs> okay, I have a feeling the water here is going to be too deep and I'm going to wind up drowning my engine, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, that's actually not that bad. Oh, man, this is better than the roads I've been driving on. Are you kidding me? It's ridiculous. I think we get some more of this. I 
Okay, now we need to find the way to the tower. I guess it's to the right. No water, don't let the <laughs> don't let the accelerator off reinstall. Yeah, I think it's okay as long as the in this game anyway, it's okay as long as the um, the water level doesn't get up beyond a certain point. It's got like a marker where it'll show you where the danger level is for the water, and if it gets up past that, the engine stalls. screen is so fuzzy. Oh, that's not good. Sometimes YouTube will lower the quality on the stream, so you can try checking that. <laughs> Pretty neighborhood cats down here now. Oh, and so is the dog. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, leave the, dog. leave the cat alone. Uh, okay, so this didn't take me to the tower. There's a mission here, though. What's this do? New objective discovered. Show task. Archive show the existence of an antenna tower in the area. It hasn't been used in 20 years, but we want to restore it and put it to good use. Can you take a look around and see if you can find it? All right. I have a feeling it's the tower over here I gotta get to. I wonder if I can go up that hill. It's a little steep, but we'll try it anyway. We haven't done a backflip in our truck in a while. Let's see if we can manage it. Ren and Timber. Yeah, the trouble is, uh, Ren likes to chase after Timber, and Timber doesn't enjoy it. Ooh, come on, truck. Good job, truck. Wow. This thing's a good climber. Might be better than the con that way. The con tends to roll backwards easy. Okay. Here from Mexico. From Mexico. Awesome. Well, welcome to the stream. I have not yet been to Mexico. Okay. So this thing's got to be like at the top of the hill, and I don't see a road on the map, so I'm going to assume we got to go off-roading. Hopefully we can get through here without rolling the truck over. There it is. Oh boy, oh boy. It'd be nice if this was the radio tower I had to find for that other mission. I don't know if I'm that lucky, though. No, this is actual watchtower. Dope. Oh, there's the dam over there. Okay, so the end. Oh, there's another upgrade. Yeah. Okay, let's check out that mission for the find the antenna tower. Oh, it's way over there. All right. So back down the hill, we'll take the road over to here. Go we'll find this upgrade, and then we'll go in search of that radio tower because it's by another another watchtower there too, which is handy. Ooh, another upgrade over here. No! Was I over there? No, I was way over here. Okay, so it's not even close. Oops. Sweet. Okay. So let's see if we can do a barrel roll down the hill. <laughs> Headed in about the right direction. Objective discovered. Fixer upper. It's just a bit of a fixer upper. Down to hill. Oh man. I have to say, this truck's a trooper. I mean, the con was really fun to, to drive around because it seemed to just go through everything, but this one's pretty good too. It's a little more, uh, I don't know. A little more precarious, it seems like, with this vehicle. Like, I'm going to get stuck more often. But it's been good and sturdy. We've rolled it over a few times, and it hasn't, uh, hasn't cried mercy yet. Here in Mexico, there's a... Uh, is it Cascadia or Cascadia with small cabin? I don't know what that is. 
Hey, Vox, some reason it was at 240. Oh, yeah. See, yeah, sometimes it um, YouTube just lowers the setting. I don't know why. It might have had, like, a momentary bad connection for your internet, or um, they might have been trying to save data or something. Who could say? I gotta go up here. Yeah, usually if the stream is fuzzy, check the quality on the feed, because it does change. Oh, a trailer. Okay, cool. <laughs> Engageable locking differential for more trucks. Okay, that's great. I mean, I guess. I suppose that might come in handy, depending on what... Oh, what is this? Chevy K CK1500. Obviously, I can't use that yet, because I didn't get there. I was close. I got close, but I didn't get all the way over there. This roadblock got in my way. So we'll have to come back and get that. But first, we'll go over here. Uh, so we'll just head back this way. Check the path when we get closer. It's the same truck we started with? Is it? Really? If so, that's a little weird. Starting vehicle was a Chevy CK1500, wasn't it? I guess, maybe. Goodbye, couple of greetings. All right, see you, AGM. It's funny this is the same truck, but I think, we, did we sell the starting truck? We might have, in order to make some extra cash. Seems like something I'd do. Incidentally, if this is a new game for you and you haven't played it and you'd like to play it, it is available on the Epic Game Store for PC. Um, on the computer, it's an Epic Game exclusive. I don't know for how long, but uh, there is a link in the description to where you can purchase it there. Any purchase there also helps support the channel at the same time. But it is also available on console if you play on Xbox or PlayStation 4. You can get the game there, too. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm playing on PC, but I'm using my Xbox controller because, frankly, I, I'm terrible with the mouse and keyboard steering. <laughs> no, I sell the Chevy. I think we just really needed the money for something. I, I can't remember if it was the Chevy we sold. I, I know we sold another truck, but maybe I didn't sell the Chevy pickup. I don't know. I could be wrong. It wouldn't be the first time. It'd be like the second time. <laughs> I guess we just stay on this road and this will take us to that tower. What you're doing there, Cryptic Fox, we call a ridge running? Okay. I'm like riding along. Oh, man. Man. Oh, nope. Nope. Whew. Almost lost it there. That was a good bounce. Yeah, I am better driving with a controller. And see? And that says something. If this is how I drive with the controller, how do you see me with, with mouse and keyboard? Ugly. Just ugly. In fairness, sometimes it's the, the, like the camera makes the driving a little funky with this. Hey, Fox, at 800, you're driving as the same model as a mall uh, mail carrier in the late 70s, early 80s. Oh, really? That's cool. Look at you people with stacked with all these facts and stuff. Busting out all the knowledge. You get Crypto to play in VR. <laughs> this would be an interesting game to play in VR. Oh, look at all the trailers down here. New objective discovered. New trailer discovered. Sideboard. Oh, another sideboard trailer. That's like the third one of those we have. What about this trailer? That one apparently is not discoverable. Uh, the mission point is outside of this little trailer park, though. I'm gonna get over there. I wish I had VR. That'd be fun to play around some of them. There's a, a few games that I think would be really cool, like uh, Half-Life Alex is supposed to be amazing. Sometimes games like this would be interesting in VR. But uh, the systems are kind of expensive, and then you need room to actually use it. So I, even if I had the money available, like... Uh, I wouldn't have the space for it, I don't think. Fantastic! We sent a team out to begin the restoration process. Thank you. No thank you for your bucks and stars. 
or even your Starbucks. Um, let's go up the hill here, I guess. Assuming I can get around this. Go around the trailer park. By random chance, found your stream. Completely just impulse bought from your link. There goes my free time. <laughs> well, thank you for uh, thank you for purchasing using the link. Very much appreciated, and welcome to the stream. That's the power of the YouTube's recommendation engine, I guess. <laughs> Uh, if you have Test Drive Unlimited 1, there's a cool mod called TDU Platinum. It had over 800 cars. To this game? Or no, to uh, Test Drive Unlimited? No, I haven't even seen that game, actually. I don't really have a lot of driving games, though, in fairness. Most of the games that I have on my uh, installed on my computer are actually ones that I've gotten from different developers and stuff. There's only a couple that I've actually picked up myself at the moment. Funny enough, uh, Oxygen Not Included is one I bought. That's one I think I put the most time in. Alright, another, another, uh, another tower down. Yeah, Minnie Fox would have fun with the mud. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. It's really hard to tell. She's at that age where she's starting to, like... Like, you know, she's more focused on makeup and stuff. There's a repair. Oh, we gotta repair that truck. Uh, lost bags. Can't wait to the island lake. Oh, so that's the next, uh, the next place. Is that the last tower? No, it's not. What was I thinking? International Transtar 4070A. Looks like we gotta haul that thing out of the water. I wonder if I can even do that with the scout. I suspect I won't have the pulling power, but let's go find out. <laughs> uh, I don't have a snorkel. This might be a really bad idea, actually. So, let's see if I can cut across here. I really missed the snorkel on the vehicle. Any barrel rolls today? No. No, we've been upright the entire time. Perfectly good condition. Um, never once went careening down a rock face or anything. It's um, It's been a very quiet and uneventful evening so far. <laughs> Just don't go back and look at the early footage, okay? Because um, I, I wouldn't want you to, to feel bad about how truthful I'm being. Uh, yeah. What the heck? Uh, that first waypoint was weird. Oh, shoot. Careening's fun. <laughs> yeah, like I said, just don't go back and look at the early footage. I think um, this this scout. I think we should just rename it to barrel roll because um, I think we've rolled it over about 15 or 20 times tonight already. Not in separate instances, but sometimes it went over more than once. <laughs> My nose is growing. That's <laughs> call me Pinocchio. Well, let's just say it, it didn't get it didn't get this pretty look on the side of it um, by being upright the whole time. <laughs> I guess. They're gonna like half a tank. Just smash the gas and murk the wheels. Left and right and we'll make it. Well, it depends on whether we uh, whether water gets deep enough to actually stop our engine. We'll find out. We have mud tires on this thing now, so that's a plus. Oh, man, that was a good hit. <laughs> oh, boy. Look, we got another beauty mark. There's speed holes, Marge. <laughs> How did I get a log in the Is there a log in this truck again? Nope. There's no log in this truck. I don't know what you're talking about. It was... <laughs> we got rid of that log. It was just there as a, like a temporary decorative kind of feature. <laughs> that will hammer out easy. That's right. Just bang on the opposite corner of the truck. It'll pop that corner back out again. It'll be fine. Not too deep. Just need more gas. I'll try to swim across it. Drive it like you stole it. Hey, look, I am. I got it stuck in the mud.
Okay, this is where we find out if um, this water's deep or not, and if I can swim through it. I'm gonna run out of gas, I bet. I'm gonna burn all the gas just trying to swim through here. Oh yeah, that's progress right there. This is the high speed chase scene. Now we just need a cop car like behind us, chasing after us at the same pace <laughs> through the mud. That'd be perfect. And then like some kind of like hijinksy like escape music playing with lots of banjo. <laughs> you think the mechanic fixed it before? <laughs> He's got the magic wand. He didn't really, didn't really fix it so much. He just magic wanted it into good shape. Oh my god, this is this is probably a very poor decision. With these mud tires, though, we're making progress. No, nope. yeah, we're picking up speed. Picking up speed. Runner, Cops and Robbers Edition. <laughs> yeah. There's actually uh, there's a commercial that I saw one winter, and I, I don't know if it played just in Canada or if it was in the U.S. too, but it was a it was a police chase, in, in like Canadian police chase. And it was two cars in deep snow with their tires spinning like crazy, and it was like the cop car chasing after the other guy, and they were, like people walking on the sidewalk were going faster than them. <laughs> Neo next with the super chat. We got a mud speed chase here. <laughs> Smash that like button. Thanks, New Nexus. Appreciate the super chat. The ice one I'm talking about? Maybe. Might be the ice one. I don't know. I can't remember if it was ice or snow that they were in, but it was uh, it was funny. <laughs> Maybe because I'm Canadian it was funny. I don't know. Ten. <laughs> Diddling, ding, 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 banjo for you. Nice. <laughs> I have my stream deck here. I should just like, you know, if I had some music like that queued up, I could just the button. That'd be great. Uh, which side of this rock should I go on? Um, yeah, it's on the right side. This may be a mistake. I don't know how much ground there is over here. <laughs> He found it funny too, but you're Canadian also. Yeah, <laughs> it's like just that stereotypical Canadian thing to see, I guess. There's the truck over there. It'll be a real mystery whether we can pull this thing out. I don't know. But there's probably a mission to actually deliver it somewhere. Play Alaska? Uh, we did play Alaska a little bit. Uh, we went back to Michigan after playing like two streams of the Alaska map. Uh, just to unlock some more upgrades and some more vehicles and stuff. Because uh, we had a pretty limited selection of uh, vehicles and upgrades available to us. So I kind of thought it would be a good idea to get some more stuff unlocked on these Michigan maps first. Actually, the water here is not that bad. Okay. Me and my big fat mouth. We're swimming now. Why did I say the water wasn't bad? Like, the instant I said it, blam, right, right into a pool. Set the parking brake on the 800 and switch to the Transstar and use the winch on the 800. I don't, I don't know if I can switch to it yet. Did, I discover, did it say I discovered it? How am I going to get this thing out of here? I'm just going to go this way. Okay, let's, uh, let's try winching this thing. Oh, jeez. Uh, it was sitting above the water line. Is that going to go? I swear. It's starting the engine, but it's out of fuel, so I don't think I'm going to get anywhere with this. She's not moving. Okay, maybe I can winch it forward a bit. Although, no, there actually been the, um, if it doesn't have any fuel, the winch won't work, I don't think. No, there's no winch. Is there no winch on this truck? What's going on here? All these trucks had a winch before. No. 
All right. So much for that. Huh. I need to get, uh... Oh, there's a little ground right here, actually. If I can get on this ground, I can pull the truck out. Yeah, there we go. Get it out of the water. Then we can get a little bit of traction, maybe. Let's see if we can pull it this time. Everything on it is broken? Yeah, actually... I could probably just recover it, now that I think about it. And I can switch to it and recover it back to the garage. I don't even know why I'm doing this. <laughs> is there a mission for this thing? I don't think there is. It's just kind of hanging out here. Moving. Yeah, might as well just recover it. This is this is gonna take forever, and it's, I'm not really gonna net any benefit. Uh, change the truck back to this, and then recover that. Boom! There we go. International Transstar 4070A. We got a new truck truck is fully repaired. Thank you for that. Let's retain that puppy. Get back out to the map and find our trusty vehicle here. We'll try and get this upgrade that's over here maybe if we have enough fuel. I don't know if we do or not. Let's find out soon enough. Clear those. We gotta get the road out here. So smart. <laughs> raise anchor. You can sell that truck to purchase one that would be more beneficial. Oh, we already sold one truck. I don't know. We'll see. I kind of want to collect up some stuff here. and I, I suppose once you find the truck, you can buy it back to if you wanted to. Just drive along the beach. <laughs> it's all a beach in here. Kind of a mucky beach, but... We'll say we'll say it's, it's all beach-ish. It's going to be funny in here. Oh, this will be hard to translate. Uh, sorry, I have to try and keep it in English. I don't speak uh, too many different languages, unfortunately. I speak a little bit of French. That's about it. English and a bit of French. Well, and gibberish, but... You know, that's not a very organized language. <laughs> Believe me, I tried to pull it. It didn't, uh, didn't move too far. Drunken ease, yes. Drunken ease is a good one too. Pairs really well with drunk foo. Um, there, oh, there is a tower out that way. You know what? Let's maybe. Um, I've got. I'm, I have a feeling I'm gonna run out of fuel. I don't know if I should try to go for that or go for the upgrade. Is there? There's no. Is there really only one spot to get fuel on this whole map? If so, that's a little weird. More fuel. That's it. Unless it's um, in one of the darkened areas here we can't see yet. So if I go to the right and follow the path, I might be able to reach this upgrade in time before I run out of gas. If I go to the left, I mean, who knows what I'm going to run into before I get to that tower. I may not make it. So I'm going to go after the upgrade, I think. Watching the best streamer and playing Scrap Mechanic. What a time. Thanks, G Spider. Hope you're having fun with Scrap Mechanic. I was playing a little bit earlier to try to gather some resources and stuff. It's taking me a long time to get metal. Does Smirk fall under gibberish? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Everyone speaks drunk and ease, but no one can understand it. Except those people that are just always drunk. Maybe they're just really good at pretending they understand it. I'm not really sure which it is. You said, is he the only Japanese? Uh, potentially. I know a couple of Japanese words, but nothing in Japanese writing. And probably only enough Japanese to make a fool of myself. Hey, Raylan, how are you? This game is awesome. Run around with friends and see who can haul the biggest load without tipping on a long haul trip. <laughs> I haven't tried multiplayer on this. I've mostly just been playing multiple single player. But I, uh, I do enjoy slogging through the mud. There's an upgrade right there. Car. Used to live in Japan? Nice. I mean, I... Yeah, I, I picked up a few words here and there. Domo arigato, Mr. Roboto. <laughs> I 
Yeah, so I know like a couple of phrases and a couple of words, but uh, not enough to communicate really. And then things like onegashimas, shigatakanai, niru dozo, domo dozo, etc. Tired daughter refused to nap today. Oh, I know how that works. Boom! Available for the current truck, raise suspension. Yes! So when we recover, we can get raised suspension on this thing now. That'll be handy. That was worth getting. Um, I wonder if I'm able to get through over here to the roadway. That'll be interesting. There's another upgrade over there I want to grab, but I, I need to plot a path because I can't see the road here. Let's try and go this way. We'll see if we can cut through the woods and get over to this road. And then cut through all the way to here and get down to this way so we can get the upgrade over here. We're still snow when you need her, as you can tell us. Yeah, for sure. But well, she's not here. <laughs> we always found our way home by remembering milkshakes and french fries for the city characters. Oh, interesting. I would really love to see Japan one day. Hi, Still Snow. Wow, look at that. See, you invoke Still Snow's name, and there she is. Bam. Just like that. <laughs> Handle that truck. Just arrived. Some of you were. See that? Somebody's got some magical powers out there. Unless they pinged you on Discord. I'm not sure which, but either way, that was convenient timing. Isn't this truck pretty? Look at the whole front of it. I, I've caved the grill in on this thing. <laughs> that looks awesome. <laughs> it's a miracle this doesn't have more damage considering how many times I've, I've flipped it around. Yeah, a couple of people from uh, Japan in here. Truck, it's, it's not all beat up. It's just partly beat up. It's... It's been tenderized. You're not the only Japanese still snow. <laughs> I know you're translating. <laughs> I had the perfect dented roof. Yeah, the, actually the roof is looking pretty clean right there. It's got just a little, little, little mucked up on the one corner, but overall, you know, it could be a lot worse. Oh, there's a mountain here. Uh, all right. Hopefully, I can get through here. Remember when you hit that big rock? Oh yeah! It did, it did a really good job on it when we hit it, apparently. I need to... Oh boy. The tree branches are going to stop me from getting through here. Just you wait. It's all going to come down to the tree branches. Look at that. The tree is effectively stopping my truck. I don't think we're going to get through here. I think this forest might be too dense and the slope a little too steep to get through here. But we're going to try it anyway because the worst case scenario is we're, we recover anyway. We're, we're low on gas and all, so. Oh my god, I can't even see. Driving blind. Driving blind. What's in front of me? <laughs> I'm hung up on tree branches. Okay, I need, uh, need a little winch power here. Uh, this way. There we go. There we go. Uh, there's a rock there? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not driving over that rock. I'm fairly certain. Um, okay, I think we're stuck. I think we're stuck. I need, uh, need more winch power. can't see where I'm going. This is ridiculous. Come on, winch. Do your thing. Beep. Oh, yeah. This isn't going to work. I think uh, I think we got her stuck in here good now. <laughs> Note to self. This is not what you should do with your truck. If you ever think about 
driving off road. Don't do this. I think I'm like hung up on a tree. I can't get past the branches. So you remember on that Alaska map when we found that truck in the trees and it was like, man, who would even have this truck out in the trees like this? <laughs> I think I figured out who. This is what happens when Mr. Beast plants two million trees. <laughs> That's right, they're in the way. All right, I can't get through here. Let's uh, let's re recover anyway. I'm going to be out of gas in a moment anyway. So we're we'll recovered back to the garage. Uh, this will get a chance to get the suspension. Boom, race suspension. Look, it's dancing. It's so happy. Okay, where to now? Let's clear this out. Okay, so... Oop. Wrong button. Uh, there are well, it's still only just one tower left, but we have those upgrades available. Let's uh, let's take the quick route down here. Let's log down this road. We'll go over and check this dam out. That'll be neat because we haven't seen it yet. And then we can drive down here to get this upgrade and be all happy, all happy and stuff. Snorkel. Um. Well, I'll check. I mean, I don't... It's, no, I, we need to discover the snorkel for this thing. Or it was like level 14 or something we need to get the snorkel. Um, so not something I'm going to be able to get on this thing, unfortunately. For a while, anyway. We're only level 7. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit. It's like level 11 is the first snorkel unlock for this, and then level, like, 14 or 17 or something. And it's 14. Is when, the, is when the bigger snorkel unlocks. Never more barrel rolls now. Yeah. I'm sure we'll roll it again. Don't you worry. Random question. Have you seen Letter Kenny? Um, nope, but I've heard of Letter Kenny. Surprised knows what you mean when you type something. I must have missed what you were saying back there. Are you typing in Japanese? Onagashimasu? Can't afford SnowRunner. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sure it'll be on sale at some point. We, most games do eventually go on sale. Sometimes I'll correct tries too hard. Well, I mean, they do have a whole website dedicated to it, so. When you waste your stuff on an electric engine. Oh, you're talking about in Scrap Mechanic? The electric engines are not powerful at all. But Kenny you actually watched some episodes before being uh, being filmed. Oh, that's cool. What am I streaming Sunday? It's to be determined. That's why I listed it that way. <laughs> I haven't decided yet. Lodestar 1700 Max is a monster. I have only a couple trucks so far. I haven't got that one. And definitely not Max, obviously, since I, you know, Sorry, I had to cough. I don't have my uh, I don't have my Stream Deck plugged in tonight because I got too many things plugged into USB ports on my computer. As soon as I plug in the controller, I have no spot for my Stream Deck. So I don't have a convenient mute button I can tap on and off. I gotta hit the one on the mic. It's super irritating. Should do another poll? Uh, maybe. We'll see. I mean, I got a variety of games on the go, so it's kind of like... I, oh, boy. Oh, man. You can actually see the water down there. It's spooky. Um... I kind of wish I, uh, I had more time to like, stream and record and do all that kind of stuff. Because I have like a half a dozen other games that I'm trying to play that I just can't find time for. Very back, left your coffee in the car. No, not the coffee in the car. Need to get together and buy. <laughs> it's not about it's not about not being able to buy one. It's about being too incompetent to remember to buy one. That's the problem. That is my problem. Is that a trailer yard there? Oh, it is a trailer store. That's interesting. Oh, and a warehouse there, too. So we have to make deliveries. We have that. Unlucky Fisherman will be a vehicle we have to pull out of the water. Let's get the upgrade first, though. 
We'll get the up we'll get up the upgrade down here and then we could probably get that unlucky fisherman out of there. Oh. This thing catches air really easy. Through the mud we go. Hope yeah, I hope it's a snorkel too, but I I, I think it's it's a level unlock for this vehicle to get the snorkel. Coffee's still hot, sweet. I've got a cup of tea here, but it is stone cold. Okay, just don't roll in the river this time. You'll drown your truck if you try crossing that stream. Here? Well, I wasn't going to try crossing here. I'm just going down here to get the... Oh, great. Come on. Come on, truck. I just don't know where the fisherman is. We'll find out. Sweet tea is good. It's not even sweet tea. It's just like a, a cup of hot tea that got cold on me. <laughs> Engageable all-wheel drive. Hooray. I don't need that right now. I mean, I'm sure I'll have a truck that will need it, but... Why is there two different unlucky... Is this... This must be the drop-off point for the unlucky fisherman. Uh, let me see. There it is. Unlucky fisherman. Chevy CK1500. The safe fishing is supposed to be relaxing unless you manage to lose the truck. Go help that poor sap drag his rig out of the river, will ya? I'm sick of hearing him get weepy over the phone. Okay, um... Yeah, we might have trouble reaching this thing. There it is there. This river here is going to present a problem. Unless I can, like, cross up here and then come down the hill? Let's see. Let's see how deep the water is here. If I have a winch point, I might be able to, like, drown the engine but then winch my way out. Why is the unlucky fisherman on land? That's where he lives, I think. <laughs> You're half asleep and trying to type. Well, maybe you should be sleeping, Brittany. It's just a little river. That is a little fast-moving river. That looks um, drowny-like. Okay. Um, I wonder how far the winch will reach. Let's find out. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, we're taking damage. Oh no, I actually wrecked the engine. Oh, that's bad. That's that's not good. Definitely can't reach anything with the winch. Um, apparently, I'm the unlucky fisherman. All right, uh, water damages the truck. Okay, we're going under now. Uh, we have a submarine. <laughs> uh, funny. Hey, look, we're going. The engine's at zero of a hundred. It's like it's obliterated. We actually have to uh, we have to restore. I'm actually kind of curious how far the water will take me. <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta go there. Right, perfect. <laughs> HH drop uh, thanks for the super sticker much appreciated so uh, yeah this is uh, this is submarine simulator 2020 uh, I know it doesn't look like a sub but it is it's really going I make faster time this way than I do when I'm driving in the mud All right, I better recover I guess boom hey look we're back <laughs> That was fun. That's the new Subnautica, that's right. <laughs> All we need now is the giant, uh, the giant evil critter to come, like, popping up out of the water and try to eat me. It really, yeah, I was, I was kind of impressed how far it pushed me out there. It was a good current. Okay, let's, um, whoops. Uh, we can still try to get that guy, I guess. We'll, uh, have to drive our way back down there, unfortunately. Um, obviously, this time, we're not going to go that way. We, we can try and take uh, way across the river here. Well, actually, I should be able to cross here. There's like a bit of a delta here, maybe. Yeah, we'll see. I'll go over to here, and I'll see what this reveals. There might be more more to be seen there. I can figure out which way I want to go. Still snow with a super chat. It's a bird. It's a plane. Nope, it's a submarine. <laughs> 
Thanks for the super chat, Still Snow. Much appreciated. It's all clean now. Yeah, look at that. All the dents and smashes are gone. It's, gonna, it's not muddy. It's been thoroughly washed inside and out. Even the engine. It's the ultimate in detailing. I wonder if the uh, one of the mud tires helped it float. <laughs> Raise the 800. <laughs> We finally have two cars in, uh, I assume again you're still talking about scrap mechanic. <laughs> I have two, but my second one's not working very well. I gotta fix it up. Needed to tie the snorkel to a balloon. Yeah. You know about dry cleaning? How about wet cleaning? Yeah. Wet cleaning is just called cleaning. That's what the cool people do. Good night, Sasha. Thanks for dropping in. Rain looks beautiful. Everything about this game is awesome. The scenery is really well done. The vehicles look great. The mud and water physics are awesome. The snow physics are equally good because it's basically just white mud. <laughs> the driver details are awesome when you're in first person mode. You got all this great detail inside the, the cab when you're driving. I wonder if I turn the headlights on, will he flick a switch? Hold on. Inquiring minds want to know. Oh, I was really hoping I could like see him hit a switch to turn the light on. <laughs> it's a silly detail, but would have been neat. Is Emily still awake? Oh, man, I don't know. I, I hope not. She hasn't been down here for a while, so hopefully she's sleeping upstairs now. Kind of, she's a little funny how it goes. Like, sometimes she's she's out by 8 o'clock. Then other times, it's like she catches this really weird second wind and she's up forever. Would have been even more often in first person in the river. Oh, I should have done that. Ah, I didn't even think. Shoot. That would have been awesome. I totally should have done that. Oh, there must be a mission here to complete this bridge. It's probably worth doing. New objective discovered. Smithville Bridge. Uh, I want to do that, but first I want to go and see if we can get... We're already, we've already driven all the way over here. Let's see if we can get the fisherman. Can I get drive in this water? Is this going to be deep? Who needs a bridge? Let's drive next to the bridge. Can always go back in the river. Oh, this is true. <laughs> Just drop me through before my next meeting. Bought this one with your affiliate link. Totally worth it. Great game to wind down with. Thanks, Dual Lama. Is it Dow Lama? Dow Dow Lama? I don't know how to pronounce that, but uh, thanks for the support. Glad you're enjoying it. I've been having a lot of fun with it too, so it's, I'm glad that other people are liking it. I think this, this might be one of my favorite games lately. Uh, oh, there we go. So why is it coming up there? Dangerous water level in my backside. Enjoy your meeting, though. <laughs> <laughs> Dawi Lama, old name. Okay, cool. Dawi Lama. Well, thanks for using the, uh, the my creator code. That's very much appreciated. Okay, we got through. I gotta look for the pathway here now. I'm sure we gotta go here. Oh, this is the guy's house over here on the right. Oh, there's like a mine here. This is like a mine or a gravel pit. Um. What's the easiest way to go? I guess I, if I hit the perimeter road of this thing, I can go around and then maybe cut through the woods here. See how that works? Maybe I should actually... Well, I, gotta, I gotta find the entrance to that thing first. And then I'll try to mark it. So in first person, you uh, when you're halfway submerged, does the cab fill with water? I don't know. We didn't hit it. And I wasn't smart enough to do so. <laughs> it would have been cool to check it out. I'm almost tempted to go straight back in the water to check it, but I kind of want to do the mission, too. Okay, there we go. So that's the path I want. We're going to go down here. Skirt around the edge of this gravel pit or mine or whatever the heck this is supposed to be. And then we'll cut through over here. 
Uh, we'll go careening down the rock face and hopefully not end up in the river next to the other truck. Dump some rocks and roll down the course. <laughs> Puts you in third when you're in the water. Oh, so you can't go into first person in the water? Oh, okay. Well, I, I don't feel like I missed out on anything then. It would have been neat to see the inside of the cab all flooded with water. Wait a minute. Can I tip? Oh. For a second there, I thought I was going to be able to get that loader down there, but uh, I'm guessing that's just decorative. Because it doesn't show it on the map. We'll go careening down the rock face so casually. That's right. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this was not the not the rock face I wanted to go down. Ooh, that was a good bounce. Man. I thought for sure we were going down there. <laughs> That was not because of my steering, I swear. That was just a really weird bounce. Which was probably the result of my steering, but still. Wow. Okay. How can I get down here? Probably the better question is, how can I drag the truck back up here? This, this will be interesting. Oh yeah, we're not we're not good enough that. We gotta find a Oh actually, maybe right here I could. I mean this is a little bit steep, but it's not too awful. Okay, just don't roll over sideways, please. Don't roll over sideways. Don't roll over sideways. Oh god. <laughs> okay. Gold. All right, fisherman buddy. I know how you feel. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, jeez. Wrong button. Uh, I'm stuck in the mud. Okay, I'm uh, really thoroughly buried. I can't get out of here. I'm going to drop that. Let's see. I need to, I'm gonna need to winch myself back out of the mud. Ooh, good times. Okay, maybe I should uh, point in the direction I want to go. We'll hook it up from the back. Pull it out without accepting the. I thought I already did the quest. Maybe I didn't. Hold on. No, I guess if the yellow square is here, I probably didn't accept the quest, did I? Show task, accept. There we go. No, don't go backwards. Come on, truck. Oh, good lord. Hmm. This is good times right here. It's not going to help this truck is facing backwards and the engine is broken, so it's not even like it can help me. All right. Well, it's out of the water. I'm gonna haul this thing back. Maybe I should I should probably go up this slope that's a little bit more in front of me. Because if I try to go sideways on this hill, having the truck pulling backwards on me is gonna almost guaranteed flip me over sideways. No oh God. Starting engine, the engine is broken. Starting engine, the engine is broken. I'm just gonna do that over and over again. Come on, baby. 
Oh, I literally can't move. This is great. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Straight up the rock. I'm going to try and turn and go up just a little bit of an angle here if I can. Sasha with a super chat. Please say happy 12th birthday to Ayana for TMZ. Happy birthday, Ayana. I gather your birthday is tomorrow, but uh, thanks for the super chat and happy birthday. Aha, we got up the hill. Now, where's the path? Oh, man, this is a lot farther away than I thought it was. <laughs> I thought I was a little bit closer to the roadway. For tomorrow. Oh. Like, do I got to say it during the stream tomorrow? Because if so, someone better remind me, because I have a memory like a, like a goldfish. Same that'd be synchronized. Oh, yeah. If we could get both trucks tumbling down a hill, that would be epic. With the tether still attached. It'd be like truck polos. Let's see if we could wrap it around a dinosaur or something. They have a goldfish as well. Nope, I don't have a goldfish. We have one of those uh, like Japanese fighting fish. Beta or whatever. Got the, got the beta fish. I reminded to get a goldfish tomorrow, don't worry. <laughs> Want a goldfish. I already have more pets in my house than I wanted. I'm not gonna suffer with dog hair on like everything. It's all your fault, all you people encouraging my wife to get the dog. <laughs> they have a beta fish too. They're pretty common in North America, I think, in terms of like pets and stuff. Need a goldfish for sure, huh? Goldfish to go with the dog and the cat and the kids. Who are like caged animals from being locked in the house all the time lately. You say that, I'm sure you love your dog. I Sure, I love the dog, but it still drives me nuts. The trouble is, I like, I like cats and dogs. I just didn't necessarily want to deal with like... Cleaning up poop and having dog hair and literally everything that I own. But I do love dogs. I love animals in general. We tried giving them whiskey. Are you talking about the pets or the kids? Because depending on what you say will depend on what my answer is. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we are still in range of the wind shun here. Yes. Get that truck up here. Whiskey fixes everything. <laughs> okay, I don't remember which way I gotta go here. Uh, oh, it's to the right. All right. Should probably not be pointed straight across the road then. Both. <laughs> my dog's drunk, my cat's drunk, my kids are drunk, my wife's drunk, and I'm sober. What do you mean if everything you own? If there's dog poop on it, that belongs to the dog. <laughs> Not dog poop, it's the hair. I got dog hair on everything. What is that link thing there for? Duh, show task. Oh, that's to pick up the task. Okay, hold on. I see what it is. I gotta I gotta drop off over here. Move a truck. I gotta go over here to drop off. I assume. Boom! Man, the truck just like vanished. Well, let's hope he's learned his lesson. Thanks for rescuing his truck. Okay, that is rescued. Uh, I kind of want to do this bridge repair here. I wonder if I could get down there with the supplies I need. Let's clear this out. No, wait. Um... Let's 
How do I delete the waypoints again? <laughs> Left trigger, there we go. Okay, uh, so Smithville Bridge is one we can repair. Right there, it needs two sets of wooden planks. Wasn't there a trailer that we saw that had wooden planks on it? Where can I get the wooden planks? <laughs> Over there. Okay, well, I guess we better, before I do that mission, I should look at maybe unlocking that last tower. I guess that will be job one. This does hook up to a trailer, yeah. There's um, The scout trailer will hook up to this thing. The con apparently just doesn't hook up to anything. Even though it's like a scout class, it, uh, it doesn't hook up to anything. Wooden planks, we threw them off the side of the bridge. <laughs> Whoa. Is a pickup right next to me? No, oh yeah, there's a warehouse right here. Does this have planks? They don't always have, uh... Hold on, let me see. Wooden planks? No, see, it's only showing wooden planks there. Unless there's a trailer sitting here somewhere that's got wooden planks on it. This warehouse has bricks and uh, whatever that is. I guess spare parts, but not planks. Trailer near me. Well, this is the trailer store. Is that? I don't think there's actually a trailer here, though, is there? No, it's just the store. Where was that one trailer we saw that it had... I swear we saw one that had either wood or parts in it. I don't remember where it was. I mean, it's probably still going to be worthwhile just to go down and get... Is it over here? Oh, that has metal in it. I don't know. Whatever. There's a trailer right here. Flatbed trailer with... Is that wood, I guess? Alright. We might be able to do there. Hmm. We gotta get off to like a side road, though. I think it was in the garage. I don't know if this garage had any trailers at it. I don't I don't think it did. That's right, I'm so blind. So to the left of my scout? Oh, that that would be to the right. <laughs> the opposite of the left. I may be blind, but at least I know my left and my right. Uh, it's just a question whether we can actually haul this thing now. It looks kind of big. New trailer discovered. Flatbed. <laughs> yeah, this this might be a bit might be a bit for me to try to haul with this little scout. Uh, yep. Can't attach to it. I will have to winch it. Okay. Is there a way to pull this thing around? Not really. What if I can just cut through the yard over here? Let's find out. Let's see if I can even haul this thing. Oh, the driver's side left? Uh, I was facing up the roadway, so it was still right. <laughs> I just need to, like... Well, actually, if I can cut right through the fence here. Uh, there might be too many trees, though. This is a heavy load. I don't think I'm... I don't know that I'm going to get it anywhere through here. Come on, truck. Come on. Oh, no. I'm going to roll over. <laughs> well, there we go. Jackpot. Nailed it. Thank goodness we got that other winch. That sure has been a lifesaver. Uh, okay. I, I haven't... 
I'm gonna wind up dumping the trailer here though too. That's the problem. That's a really big hole. Is it possible to? There's like no other connection points on that trailer. I don't think. If I could, like, winch it from the back, I could back it up. But I'm gonna wind up dumping this thing. Yeah, I got the uh, I got the scout winch that has the uh, the electric motor in it. So if we stall, no, there's no way I'm getting this through that rut. No oh god, why am I even trying this? I'm so dense. No, all I did was get it stuck. Shoot, I should have tried to pull it back the other way. Okay, let's see if uh, I don't know. I don't think I can winch onto the back of this thing, but we'll try. Let's see if there's a winch point back there. I suspect not. You can do it, I believe. No, I got it stuck in a, in a big hole in the ground now. It's uh, it's not going anywhere. It's going downriver at this rate. <laughs> well, I mean, we're still a little ways away from the water, so it's not necessarily going to hit that, but... There's even a big pothole like right here. Go equip the new truck and try it. Well, I'd, I'd have to—I'd have to get it all the way over here. So, no, I can winch it from the back. Um, this isn't working. <laughs> I got it good and stuck. All right, more power to me. Um, I'm super smart. I need like I need more leverage to be able to pull this thing. I don't I don't think it's gonna work. It's too heavy. It's too heavy. This truck is too small. Yeah, I'm like I'm sitting in a pothole. This isn't working. All right. Forget that. I must have to use a different truck. In the meantime, we'll go check out the watchtower instead. I must say, you're a fabulous entertainer and give me way too much attention. You've earned this mistake. <laughs> Welcome to Mistakes Were Made. Thanks for clicking that join button. Much appreciated. Thanks for the support. Welcome to Team Green. Thank you for the generous support, too. Glad you enjoy the channel enough to uh, feel like clicking on that join button. Don't think you can turn it in winched anyways. Oh, you might be right. You may be right. I probably should have just left it until I could get another truck over there. I hadn't even thought of that. Uh, okay, stop taking me back to that. I want to stop tracking this thing. How do I do that? <laughs> I need to stop tracking this quest, but it won't let me. Uh, normally there's like a button that says stop tracking. Oops. Apparently this doesn't have one. See, if I'd been smart enough to recognize or remember that I, I can't turn it in while it's just winched onto the truck, then the trailer probably would have been sitting in a lot better position to pick it up with a different truck that could turn it in. <laughs> By my own worst enemy. Oh! That's a tough rock right there. It's almost like it was made of rock. What are the odds? No, oh, stop that. Maybe if I get out of there, maybe it'll stop. Okay, uh, so the tower is off to the right there. I wonder if I have to take this path to get up there? Or if I just follow the road. I feel like we should try the path. Not because it's the intelligent thing to do, but... Specifically the opposite. Oh, this is going to be a tough climb. How do they even label this as a road? This is not a road. 
This was like a, an accident. <laughs> That's right, we aren't here for smart decisions. <laughs> you got it. We're here for all the wrong, all the wrong choices. Bye, Fox. My Wi-Fi is acting terrible right now. Bye. See you, Sully. Thanks for dropping in multiple times. <laughs> oh, good night, Marine Grub. This is going to be a slow climb up this hill, man. No, no, don't roll it. You can do it, baby. You can do it, baby. Yeah, I'm going to run out of fuel. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, oh, there it is. Engine sold. Uh, we should be able to tether over to this tree here at least. Oops. Give me my tether points. Thank you. Oh, thank y'all. Boom. Upright again. For the moment. <laughs> Look at all the mud on the roof of the truck. Oh, no. Come on. Don't, don't do this. Not like that. Okay. Good truck. Excellent work. Um, yeah. Now I'm turned in a way that I may not be able to winch myself back over. Oh boy. Wait, 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 wait. If we grab this one here, can I reach the tree that's back over there? Yes. Okay. Um yep, that's working that's working great. Ooh, it started. And stall. Okay. Boom, nailed it. Okay. Now, how am I gonna get this to work? I gotta get up here in a way that it's not gonna roll me over again. You need to like go more left and then Maybe we won't sink down that left side so much. There's a huge rut here that I drove into. There we go. Perfect. Flawless execution. Just ignore all the mud on like 75% of the truck. <laughs> Those are just uh, character marks. Okay, where are we going now? Oh, you know what? Look, I could have taken the highway. <laughs> it wraps all the way around. Excellent. Come back around your roof like a turtle flailing your wheels in the air. Yeah, pretty much. We got turned upright, though. We didn't have to re recover that time. That went all right. You know, in the grand scheme of things. I guess I could have tried driving back up, up and backwards, but... I kind of hope this tower will be like at the top of a peak because I want to go like barreling down the other side after we get the tower. <laughs> Just to see what happens. Is that the autonomous winch or can you do that with any car? No, it's the autonomous winch. You have to have that one. Otherwise, uh, when the engine stalls, the winch doesn't work. It was definitely worth the 9,400 bucks. We've used it quite a bit tonight. Uh, okay. So that tower... I can't tell if there's going to be a road around it or not, because it's like... It's kind of like in the middle of nowhere here. It doesn't look like there will be a road. I might have to, like, navigate up a path here somehow. Oh, like that one right there. That might work. But that looks really steep, though. Alright, we'll try this. Let's see what happens. Come on, let's put it out of there. Come on, baby. Just don't do a back roll. Of all the times we rolled this thing tonight, I don't think we have rolled it over backwards. We've gone forward, sideways, to both sides. 
We've done a cartwheel with it, I think. <laughs> right here where there's a path. It's almost, yeah, it's almost as if they wanted me to go this way. But it didn't look like a path on the map. Climb up here a little quicker. Okay. Step one done. Ooh, it's gonna be a little bouncy. Whoa. Yeah, where the heck is this tower? Oh, it's up there. Uh, I can't even get the camera angle to look up there. That's weird. Um. Hmm. What are the odds we can go up here without rolling it? Oh man, that looks super steep. I don't think it's gonna work. If we roll it here, my concern is that I don't have a winch point, so I'm pretty sure. Oh boy! No oh boy! Come on, baby! Honk the horn, that'll get you up there. <laughs> Come on, you can do it! Yeah! Woo! Alright, I thought it was toast. We got it, though. I can't believe we didn't roll that. That was sick. Upgrade location discovered. What? Where is that? Where is this so-called upgrade location? One under, there's a warehouse, trailer store. Upgrade, right over there. Ooh, one over here too. We're low on fuel though, so this isn't gonna last very well long. That's where I need to go. It's gonna take a whole lot of flooring to get down the side of this mountain. This is insane. I would never try that steep angle without a winch tied off at the top. Yeah. Probably shouldn't have, but... You know, what are you going to do? Oh, found a tree. Okay, I need to find a steep cliff to plunge off of. Because that's the only way to get down there safely. By plunging. Found one! <laughs> oh, it's not that steep. Okay, um... Trees will slow my fall, right? Oh, yep, yep, they sure did. Okay, we got this. Yep, you got it. Just keep it on the wheels. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. That might be a tough one to recover from. Um. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get a winch point here that's going to work. Let's try that one. We'll see what happens. Ooh, it pulled me through the tree. Nice. Am I on my wheels? I am. It still runs! <laughs> For now. It's starting to sound a little rough, though. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, there's the back. You know, I had said we hadn't done a back roll with a truck yet tonight. We got it covered now. Um, yeah, we got down the hill, though. I'll give it that much. Let's see. Where can I winch here to roll myself over now? I need to be able to see. Oh, the tree's just out of range. Uh, okay, what about here? Um... Cue circus music. <laughs> it's got some good crumble zones on this truck. Uh, can I read? No, I still can't reach that tree, I don't think. Oh, I can. Yes. Yeah, nailed it. All right, flawless. Just ignore the smoke coming out of my truck. If there is any. Any smoke coming out of the engine is just a sign the truck is happy. That's that's what that is. Oh, man. Nope. Found, uh, found a tree. 
how do I get around it? There we go. There we go. Boom. This is a true off-roading right here. The kind that no one should ever do. <laughs> Oh, come on. Engine. What's a little smashing between friends? Oh, no. Is that at the top of a hill? Oh, no, it's up a hill. Uh, I gotta turn to the right here. I'm not gonna have enough gas to get up to that thing. Take a bets. Does Cryptid make it or run out of fuel? I'm thinking I'm gonna run out of fuel. Yeah. The good money's on running out of fuel, I think. I feel like it was worth the drive, though. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, is that the path I want? I can't even see here. No, I gotta go... Keep going right here. I've got five liters of fuel. I'm burning like two and a half liters a minute. There's no way we're going to make it. Come on, truck. Come on, truck. It's just a little rock. Come on, you can get over that thing. Ugh. Okay, maybe you can't. I've still got it in forward, but I'm rolling backwards. That's that's great. Did I just run out of, <laughs> Am I out of gas already? Oh no, don't please don't. Please don't back roll. Yeah, we're not gonna get there. No, oh, see it's running out already. It's already losing power. We're done. We're done. So close. Well, I mean, in the grand scheme of things. <laughs> that was sloppy as, as you can get, pretty much, but... Hmm. Alright, uh, we're going to reset. We should probably get a different truck. Um, we got the last tower there, at least. But if we're going to do that bridge repair, I'm going to need a truck that can actually haul some wood to it. Uh, and unfortunately, we have to go to the warehouse to get the wood, which is kind of awkward. It's like way over there. I could try to get the uh, the tr the flatbed here, but the trouble is, I gotta get past this river with the tr whatever truck we pick. So, uh, let's restore this, recover, <laughs> um, let's retain that. All right, what do we got in storage here? International Transstar 4070A. We got the Kodiak C70 Heavy Duty. Kodiak C70 bridges the gap between scout vehicles and full size short frame truck. It's not the most powerful or durable vehicle in its class, and some large truck add ons are a bit too heavy for it, but this medium truck is capable of mounting most of them. What's on the C70? We got the Royal BM17. Uncompromisingly reliable and brutally efficient, the BM-17 might lack the eye-catching shine of its civilian counterparts due to its military roots. It's more than makes up for with an impressive fuel powertrain, blah, 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 blah. Let's try this thing. Why not? Deploy that puppy. Okay, I've got, uh, got a thing on the back here already. Let's uh, check what customizations we have for it. Ooh. Modified variant of common engine that improves fuel efficiency at the cost of reliability. Yep, definitely don't want that. <laughs> uh, gearbox, no. Suspension, no. Tires, not so great, but we can go with the all-terrain, I guess. Let's see, winch, stock medium, that's all we got there. Spare wheels, no. Frame add-ons. No, we already got what we need. Sideboard bed. Snorkel. Stock air filter or wedge cap. I'm gonna go with the wedge cap. Alright, let's give this one a whirl.
for power. Gas is free. It's more just about well, like, whether you run out of gas on a mission. All right. Let's see how this thing handles. It's fast. I mean, relative to the uh, stuff I've been driving, anyway. The Royal is a beast, is it? Smaller Pacific 12, you say so? I don't know what the Pacific 12 is, but... I mean, it, it seems like a decently sized truck, considering it's only like a mid-size Royal. Or was it that other GM that was a mid-size? Yeah, this is the truck I hauled out of the woods in Alaska, yeah. Got some get up and go. Oh, <laughs> not good for the suspension though. <laughs> oh no! Too fast. Slow down, truck. See how it handles in the mud, though. Oh, man. I mean, this isn't deep mud, obviously. This is just, like, slightly muddy road, but it's plowing through. Yeah, it's the other truck that was mid-sized. Whoa. Okay, note to self, don't turn sharply with this thing. Jeez. Fish is easy. Going from a tiny scope to a big old truck. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm curious to see whether we can actually get across the muddy river that we need to cross with this thing. Um, that might present our first challenge. Ooh, grab you. There's all the woods on the other side. There's that trailer over there that has... Uh, I guess we could go and technically we could go back to the other map and get a trailer of wood if we needed to, but um, the trailer that had the wood on it is on the other side of the, the river, and so is the warehouse that sells the wood. You can do it the crossings out of that heart. All right, sweet. Sorry about flooding the engine. The intake is high up. I hope. Yeah, we have a snorkel on this one, so it should be fine. It's less about flooding the engine. I was thinking more just in terms of getting stuck. This thing doesn't have differential. It's got all-wheel drive, but no differential. <laughs> so as I was saying... <laughs> This is going swimmingly. I mean, it's moving, but it's not, uh, it's not moving well. Uh, all right, where can I winch to? Nowhere, that's great. Fabulous. Nowhere useful, anyway. No, actually, that, that, was, that was more useful than I thought it would be. Let's see if I can winch out to that stump over there now. Nope, not to the stump. Holy camera. Jeez, pick a camera angle. I take a whole lot of floor and marge. If I can even move forward just like a foot or two, then I can reach that stump. I think it is moving. I get the pull. Yeah, I can get that pull off to the right there. I was, if I can just inch it forward just a little bit, I can reach this stump over here. Ah, no. All right, let's do this. Oh my god, pick a camera angle already. Okay, release there. Stop messing with the camera. There we go. Got it. Yeah, we can put it in low gear too, I guess. Yeah, we, no, we just have all-terrain tires on this thing. It's not even like the off-road tires. <laughs> no mud tires, no no off-road tires. Yeah, see, no gear without the differential, not so great. Okay, we're through. We did it.
Everybody always saying get low, but it, every time I've driven the truck that doesn't have differential, I put it in low gear. The front tires don't do anything, and the back tires don't get me anywhere. <laughs> I can hitch up to this thing. Low low diff is not that great. No, yeah, it just doesn't do anything really for me. Boom! Trailer attached. Hopefully we can haul this thing out of the mud hole it's in. Oh yeah, that was in trouble. Works a little better when the uh, the truck is a little better weight proportion to the trailer. Don't rag it. Don't rag it. Sliding everywhere here. Show task. Accept. Crap. Not going to back up and get back in again. Cryptic's arch enemy trees. <laughs> Darn you, nature. Darn you. Okay, Smithville Bridge. Unload. Boom. Fixed. She may not be pretty, but uh, she got the job done. There's a trailer store right here. I'm going to go sell this trailer off. Get some bucks back in the pocket. Blows good before you get stuff. Once you're in a hole, it really doesn't help anymore. Yeah. Let's see the dip long. I suppose. Excuse me. I suppose that is true. Welcome to the trailer store, uh, sell that. Nice. Ooh, I had a cough. Um, okay. What next? Oh yeah, the upgrade. I didn't get the upgrade. I wonder if I could get this big old truck into that little upgrade spot over there. <laughs> I'm guessing not. Probably shouldn't try that. Uh, let's see. This trailer, ramp flatbed trailer. No, nope, don't care about that. Sideboard trailer with, uh, I guess those are two of the supply crates on it. Ooh, upgrade over there. If I take the highway the whole way... It's a really windy road. If we take the highway the whole way, I can get to that upgrade that's over there. That's kind of out of the way, but... It's tools delivery. Deliver to warehouse. Curtain side trailer. No, that's the pickup. And then I gotta take it over to the where? Oh, there. Okay. Alright, we can kill two birds with one stone. I can get that trailer and also get the upgrade while we're down there. What's the new nest spot? What's this now? New nest. What new nest? I don't know what you're talking about, new nest. The game is some sort of emoji. I don't know what that is. <laughs> get anything anywhere if you force it hard enough. Well, there's that, yeah. I mean, trying to get this thing up a steep, muddy slope, though, would present certain problems. Fairly certain. This is where Bert said, oh, thanks. Bird biomes are best for finding bird nests. Oh, thanks. <laughs> now we're playing Seven Days to Die again. Holy cow, this thing can't be It's really greasy. Oh, I see your help, bugs. Yeah, thanks, rabbit dog, I think. <laughs> He's like, I'm here to happily troll you anytime you like. You just let me know what level of trolling you need, I'll provide it. I got it covered. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh. Come on, truck. These are some pretty crazy roads. I don't think I would want to drive on these in real life. Uh, yeah, especially not over that. I wonder if you'll get uh, a truck in 70s that uh, it would barrel roll and smash towards it. <laughs> that would be fun. Drive toward a horde at breakneck speed, speed and then like slide in sideways so it like flips over and rolls and crushes them on the way through. That would be good. Just wait, I'm going to find another, there will be a roadblock here, another landslide or something. Ooh, trailer, what have you got? Sideboard trailer with the parts. Which I don't need right now. I don't think. Let's see. Off-road truck is recommended. Deliver to Sherman Island. Yeah, no thanks. Lost bags, that's for cement. Lost trailer, Michigan trial, nope, thank you. Solid foundation is concrete slabs, which I don't have. Hockey workers, there we go, consumables to the drilling site. That's kind of way over there, and we'll just focus on what we got. We'll leave it here for now. Have a good night, Mr. McBaldspot. Thanks for dropping in. Just wait until you see the 4x4 four four on seven days. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't even have mini bikes yet. We have, and, and technically, we don't even have bicycles yet. We only have one bike because somebody threw theirs through the earth in the game. You know, not. Oh, my God. That was brutal. Yeah, didn't pop the tires or anything. Jeez. Yeah, Nate dropped his and it like fell through the earth, so uh, we've only got one bike now. What's the truck icon, truck icon on the bottom of the map? A truck you can get for yourself? Uh, bottom of the map. This one here? Yeah. It's a Chevy CK1500. It's just the one we already had, though. It's like the starting pickup truck. But yeah, I think technically we can recover that for ourselves. Nate just does not respect your thing, so he should have, should have to walk everywhere even if you get new vehicles. <laughs> oh my god, that'd be... We wouldn't get anything done. I mean, not that we get a lot done anyway, but we'd be, uh, we wouldn't be able to scrounge very far if he was on foot. Okay, so this is where we came with the scout vehicle, and then we went up the hill, like, right here on the right, which we're obviously not doing with this truck. <laughs> See if we can get through on the mud, though. Just don't roll it over. Holy. About to go in Dash Entertainment as I'm going to play Snowrunner Leave You playing on the phone. Alright, cool. Have fun playing. Tell me this reminds you of BC Roads in the 80s. <laughs> Sounds about right. No risk of rock slides here. Oh, come on. 
Stop wrecking my suspension. I'm gonna run out of gas before I even get to this place. Where's the road? Oh, it's like the wrong thing. That's why. Oh, man. I was like, why is it, uh... Why is it pointing me the wrong way? We gotta go down this way. That's what I'm after. Get that upgrade. Hey, we did it. 98 likes. Woo! 98. <laughs> were we shooting for 98? Was that the random number we were going for? We're watching you play this. I couldn't imagine how getting your vehicle stuck in the snow or rolling it down a hill could be fun. <laughs> See? Just gotta have a little imagination. Although, if you're like, um, if you're somebody who wants to like really excel at games and take stuff super seriously, eh, maybe not. But if you just want to have some goofy fun like I do, then yeah, it's fun. I like it. I like it a lot. Especially when you like make your truck like do cartwheels down a hill. That's that's good stuff. Oh man, how was the like, just a little rock so hard on the suspension? That seems unrealistic. I could see it beating the tire, maybe, but it wasn't that big. Have a night, cheese spider. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that's not good for the engine. Come on, truck, you can do this. I'm not gonna get back up here with a trailer on. This is gonna be ridiculous. Cartwheels are the best wheels. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, no, 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 no. I don't, if this thing stalls, I don't have the winch that will flip it. Come on, baby. Oh, there we go. That would have been so bad to drive the whole way and then, like, right before getting here to roll it over. <laughs> Hashtag rage quit. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to haul the trailer up this slope. This is a little ridiculous. Okay. Upgrade. Bam. Raise the suspension, but not for the current truck. That sucks. That's okay. Raise suspension is still good. So having the option on another vehicle is still a plus. Yeah, it was pure skills. That's right. It wasn't luck at all. Pure skills. Now watch I'll roll it over while I go to get this trailer. <laughs> All right, give me my mission. Show task. Deliver that to the warehouse. Uh, so that should take me... To... What? Wait, what am I doing wrong here? What's, what mission was this? So task. Tools delivery. Tools delivery. Oh, there it is. Ah, it's off the bottom. Start tracking. Okay, yeah. So it's got to go to that warehouse. It's a shame we can't just drive in the water and just have it float over, but um, I'm fairly certain that won't work. So we're going to have to go all the way back down that crazy road. If I can even get this thing up the hill. Which will be sort of a big if. Take out their mailboxes. <laughs> Take that mailboxes. Drop. Oop. Come on. No. Oh, God. Messing up my turn directions there. 
There we go. Bam, got it. Okay, we're gonna have to uh, probably put this thing in all wheel or in uh, low gear to even approach the hill. And then hopefully it, uh, it actually does something because um, every other time I've used low gear without differential, it just um, it does that. <laughs> hey, that's success right there. For everyone who's always telling me go in low gear, this is low gear. I don't even have any wheels on the ground. <laughs> do you even have a car? Are you talking about like me? In real life, do I have a car? Yeah, absolutely. But I don't drive my car with an Xbox controller from standing like in front of the windshield. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to be not good. I have a feeling this isn't going to get up this hill. I might need something that has differential. It's awfully muddy. I, I mean, I guess we could, we could boost our way up using the winch. You can only imagine those warehouse workers watching Fox leave. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, right? They're like, oh god, no. No. In fairness, um, this one wasn't a warehouse though, so it was a people at a trailer park, so maybe a little less a little less strange looks and a little more like knowing expressions. <laughs> like, oh yeah, we've done that. Oh my god, oh my god, here. Huh. Come on, baby. This is a slow climb right here. Just go up and winch the trailer up. They only reach so far, so like. Yeah, there are certain points where I can do that. As long as the trailer doesn't roll backwards when I cut it loose. Um, but, I mean, obviously, I can, I can only go so high up and then still hope to do that. This, this tree's going to rip loose on me. Yeah. Ooh, surprisingly, that one held. That's weird. Held on long enough for me to run it over. <laughs> Take that tree. We can just get it up this hill we can get out of here but uh, we're gonna get up to a spot here now where we're running into rocks and then there's gonna be nothing to winch to come on tree don't break oh you had to break didn't you um okay let's um let's cut the trailer loose here don't roll away Okay. See, that's gonna be a problem. Nope. <laughs> Now's your chance, trailer. Go, you're free. <laughs> Come on! You got this! Come 
Nope, you don't got this. Okay, good times. It's not even hauling the trailer up now. With the winch. It's not moving it. Okay. Release the winch. Grab it up again. No, don't roll away! <laughs> no. Come on. Don't do this to me, game. Not like this. Ooh, just barely. I'm gonna run out of fuel. I'm not even gonna be able to get out of here because I'm gonna run out of fuel. We're gonna do all this work to get it up the hill and then run out of gas. <laughs> it almost rolled away. It was close. Close. Not quite. That was a rocket in the tire. Okay. Cut it loose again. I think I dug myself too much of a hole here. Now. No! Oh no! Don't go away! Don't go away! I dug, a, I dug quite a trench here. Can I get a little higher up? Nope. Nope. Ugh, come on. Hmm. Why are you driving forward while winching? Put the parking brake on. Uh, lies. Forgot about the parking brake. <laughs> See, look, it's just dragging me back. Can't imagine why I'm driving forward while winching. <laughs> it's literally dragging me down the hill. Okay. That, that didn't connect, did it? No, what's going on? It's got it right there. Uh, there we go. Yeah, this is never gonna work. I'm not getting this up the hill. It's like a lesson in pain. Makes sense in real life, but in the game, it's the only way. Yeah. I mean, his winch is obviously. There's only a certain amount that they can do um, in terms of realism before they start sacrificing fun for realism. But this is uh, this is not going well. I think, I, I think I'm gonna be screwed on this this mission. Need a helicopter. <laughs> yes, excellent, brilliant. That's what we need. The helicopter. A little higher up here. Why is it not making that connection? It looks like it could reach. Darn it. Connect, darn it. Ah. There we go. We get up the hill. Holy cow, we made it almost. I need to like, I need to get the trailer up here close enough, like, and attach it now. <clears throat> when am I gonna do more construction simulator three? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know. Did I just cut that loose by accident? I think I did. I did. Get up here. I gotta pull this thing in close enough I can hitch up to it now. 
Mox gets up the hill and runs out of gas. That's what's going to happen. I'm not going to get all the way back with the, the amount of gas I have, I don't think. Wow, that's crazy. It's too far away. Of course it is. No. There we go. Oh my god. Are we gonna make it? We're still not even to the road, really. <laughs> Park the trailer somewhere safe, recall your truck, and then come back for it. That's what I'll end up having to do. I'll take it as far as I can. When we run out of fuel, I'll just disconnect the trailer, recall the truck to fuel it up. I mean, alternatively, we could leave the truck where it is and send a different truck out with the fuel thing on it and refill it. So that's an option too, I guess. Although I think I'd have to buy the fuel thing because I don't think I have one. Maybe push it up the hill. <laughs> I think I can. I think I can. Maybe we could sell the contract to someone else who could pull it up the hill? I can't believe we got up there. I didn't think we were going to. Whew. Made it. Slowest hill climb ever. Only game on Android is really relaxing. Which, uh, Construction Simulator 3? Is that what you're talking about? If I can get out of the mud, I can turn off the all-wheel drive, and that will save us a little bit of fuel, too. If I can get out of the mud. Oh, my God. Please don't get me stuck, like, here. That would be ridiculous. Can't imagine doing this in real life. I don't think I have the patience. No. Not to mention there's the whole risk of, you know, tumbling down a hill the way I do sometimes. Now, granted, a couple of those are intentional, but... Okay, I gotta attach the trailer again. Get out of the mud. Get out of the mud. Fuel's in the red. We're not even gonna get like halfway. That sucks. That took so much fuel. Hard works. Okay, all wheel drive off. Save a little bit of fuel anyway. So like I said, we're not gonna get all the way back, but we can at least uh, we at least get part of the way. Uh, that's obviously not the warehouse we have to take it to. <laughs> Shell box warehouse. Wrong one. Honk for extra oomph. It's the um the horn is on the on the left control stick, so every once in a while, when I'm trying to do something, I accidentally click the the, uh, the stick and it honks. Don't fail me now. <clears throat> no, no, the horn pushes you backwards because the air goes forward. Oh, does it? Oh, how about that? Maybe the horn's pointed backwards. It's giving us, like, extra torque. Like uh, air powered rocket power. Yeah, we're running close to empty. We've got 29 liters left in the tank. We're burning you know, between 5 and 9 liters per minute. So, we're not going to have enough fuel to get all the way back. I just want to take it as far as I can before I have to reset the truck. Okay. 
thinking we can get maybe halfway for Lucky. <laughs> or I might just tumble off the side of the bridge here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, oh, I was joking. I was joking. I was joking. <laughs> Come on, truck. Whew. All right, we did it. <laughs> I seriously almost tipped it there. That was stupid. I love the game saves just before each mud puddle you might get stuck in. Yeah. It's like, congratulations. We're ready for you. Funny we got almost all the way there. That's funny. Neutral here. Oh. Uh. Yep. <laughs> I got all the drive on. Depending on the nature, on like the condition of the road, I can turn off the all-wheel drive. <clears throat> Don't pop a tire. Yeah, I've uh, I've smacked the guardrail a couple times with this truck too, so it's, um, it's not in good shape. I've, the tires have definitely taken a little damage. Gotta be a little careful. You got a good downward slope. We can just put it in neutral and coast. Eleven liters left. It's gonna start acting up on me now. Are we there yet? No. Nope. <laughs> I don't think. I think we're still not quite halfway. This was a long drive to get all the way up to that spot. Oh yeah, we're down to six liters and it's burning 15, 15 liters a minute. We're uh, done. So done. That's all she wrote. How far did we get? Oh, we made it. Actually, we were in a little better shape than I thought we were in. Uh, all right, we need to uh, detach the trailer. Cover the truck. Ugh. I mean, fortunately, this is a fast truck, but having to drive like halfway back again just to get the trailer, it really bites. Wish I hadn't lost so much fuel trying to go up that hill. Use a different truck? Nah. We've already got this one set up. I'll just use this one for now. It's uh, The rest of the delivery should be relatively straightforward. Uh, this will probably be the last delivery we do tonight, anyway. It's already after midnight. You consider trying Farming Simulator 19? I have, actually. I played it four or five times on the, on the channel. I wasn't really getting a lot of interest, so I didn't uh, didn't really keep up with it. But yeah. All right, let's break the truck. I think uh, Farming Simulator 19, though, was the, like, the game of the month or something for PlayStation 4, isn't it? It's bad you can't haul extra gas. I mean, you can in some cases. There's, um, there are some frame settings you can put on, but I think for this one, it's actually a huge tanker of gas, which you don't really want to have to haul around with us when we're pulling the load. Should I put a fuel cell on the truck? Didn't realize it was going to burn through much, so much gas trying to go up that hill. <laughs> Kerbal Space Program 2 will have multiplayer. Yeah, I heard that also. It's, um... I haven't even played the first one, actually. Although I've heard it's fun. I 
Come on, baby. We're almost there. I was gonna hit my tires on the rail there for a second. <laughs> Got out of farming similar 19 and now into this. Nice. Honey bear, what are you doing awake? It is after midnight. You should be sleeping. Sleeping. What's your take on construction simulator 3? I kinda like it. Um I mean obviously they've they've clearly made certain aspects of it like much easier than it would be in real life, just for the purposes of um like fun gameplay or whatever, but uh, yeah, I had fun with it. It's pretty good. Well, if you're tired, go to sleep. It's after midnight. Go to sleep. Yeah, busted. You can't come in your dad's live stream and say, Hi, everybody, I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, technically we should always leave anybody you're watching me. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> the difference is you're not uh, you're not my kid. Honey bear is. Yeah, this is a the switchback road of this mountain is crazy. I kind of want to drive off that cliff just because, you know, science. Could be if I adopt you. <laughs> uh, okay, fair enough, but uh, I'm not looking to adopt just now. <laughs> No science, Fox. You were delusional. Yes. It's uh, it is science. It's um, testing out the um, um, the importance of the principle of the conservation of energy. Oh wait, I gotta back up to this thing. Um, hmm. Where am I gonna have? Enough? I guess I can go back. I'll go back to where this trailer was right here. Conveniently located in a rest stop on the side of this treacherous mountain road. You turn around here. How about another dog? No more dogs. Andy Bear really wants uh, really wanted some, a pug. It's not a 300 point turn. It's a 3 point turn. We're good. kind of wish I had like more aggressive like backup lights though. I guess technically I could skip time and make it daytime, but all right, we got it. All right, let's get this delivery done. This has been a tough one. It took a lot more time than I anticipated, in part because we spent so much time just trying to climb up that hill. Get a golden retriever. <laughs> we already have a large enough dog as it is. Our current dog weighs 50 pounds now. She's like solid muscle. A porgy. I'm not saying that, Monopoly man. You can't make me. <laughs> Don't go over the cliff. Don't go over the cliff. Don't go over the cliff. Whew. 
get her, get her a plant. They require care and attention. <laughs> this guy's just a bit over 50 pounds, and she's still growing. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, we don't. We're not even entirely sure what um, what our dog breed is, but I think I hear my cat puking upstairs. And that's super awesome. Great. A mess to clean up after I finish. <laughs> Hooray! It was right. It was right. You have a Labradoodle, Labrador Poodle. Cuddly, fluffy, medium sized. Better appetite's enormous. Oh, yeah. Our dog's pretty good, actually. We, um, we feed her. You know, a couple times a day on a schedule, but um, sometimes she'll just leave her food in her bowl for a while and just get to it later when she wants it. She doesn't gorge herself the way I've seen like other dogs we've had that have done. Like, I've had dogs in the past where if you gave them food, they'll eat it. They don't really care if they're hungry or not. It's going in. <laughs> One way or another, it's going down their gullet. My dad had a beagle that was... Uh, it was so fat. I swear he was like, he was taller laying down on his side than he was standing up. He'd uh, eat his own dog food, and then he used to also get like, like table food and stuff too, but um, but then he'd go over to the neighbor's house. It was a farm uh, a farm thing. He'd go over to the neighbor's house and he'd steal their dog's dog food. <laughs> so fat. Okay, we made it. We got the load, we got it all the way back to the warehouse. My truck didn't explode, although it did run out of gas. Boom. We made it. You can hear the loading hub running smoother already. Nicely done. Only 270 stars for that? Man. I feel like we should have got more. All right. Well, it is past midnight. Uh, I'm going to head off to bed. Thanks, everyone, for coming to hang out with the stream tonight. Appreciate the super chats, and uh, welcome to our new members this evening as well. Very much appreciate uh, all the support, everyone. Uh, the schedule for this week is up on the community tab on the channel. Tomorrow night we'll be playing some State of Decay 2. We'll, and uh, since we didn't blow up any cars tonight, I'm sure we'll manage some tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully make a little bit of progress at the same time. Thanks again, everyone, for coming to hang out. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.